Hey, before we get into this episode, I would like to ask just one measly favor. Click the like button. That's all we want. Click the like. Smash it. No Jumper Show. We back. Adam 22, Brick Baby, and Sharp. We're in the building. How's everybody feeling? I'm feeling great. Yeah? Feels good, man, this morning. Yeah. Yes, sir, man. Put the mic right. Fresh off of. Right in your grill piece. Yo. Mic me, check. Hey, me and Brick Baby was in the trenches of Paramount yesterday. I saw that. No, so what is, what is your preconceived notion of Paramount? Because to me, living in Long Beach for all those years is just kind of like a place that you see signs for. I know I don't know if I ever really ventured over there or ever had anything to do there, but we decided to tap in with the one and only Swifty Blue, which you might have to do out here if you really want to be a foo, if you want to yeah, be accepted by be the other foof, foos. You want to be accepted by the foos? You, you might have to tap with in with Swifty Blue. Blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we went down there real, real professional. Obviously, we had to have uh, our armed security on deck. Those but big uh, guys. But, uh, you know, me and Brick Baby showed up at the Fatima's Grill and proceeded to eat hot Cheeto burritos. Fire. Oh, sh- A lot of people don't even know that that exists in yeah, the city of Paramount or otherwise. Myself probably being one of them. I don't know. Yeah. The, the, the hot Cheetos inside the burrito. First time I read something shit. like that it was, was like, jail. Yeah, no, that's what it's based on. Like uh-huh. It's based on the county jail shit. Mm-hmm. Like, they crushing them up yeah, on top cool with the, they using the cheap cheese, the, the, cheese the squeeze whiz. cheese. Yeah, yeah, squeeze. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, but are people going to get on Swifty for being a Mexican gang member and then he brings us to a shawarma joint? <laughs> What's a shawarma joint? It's like Fatima. the type, it's like Middle Eastern food. Like but it wasn't, it wasn't, it was a Sada, that was just the name, Fatima's. It wasn't that. It wasn't like a Middle Eastern fight, Fatima. I think mean? it is. It's it's run by a bunch of Middle Eastern dudes, and then they weren't Mexicans. They were speaking Spanish. Nah, but they got a big sign on the wall that says, "I got ninety nine problems, and shawarma ain't one." Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> that's Mediterranean. But is Plus, that, what kind of they, Mexican Armenian? joint has fried chicken, French fries? Okay, wait, hold on, because Armenians fall up under the thirteen out here. The, is not Armenian. Oh, it's not? Nah. Persian? Who owns Fatima's Grill is what I should probably be looking up right now, but I'm not even going to start but to go down we, that rabbit we, hole. We ate carne <laughs> Jamie? It ain't like we was eating lamb shank with uh, lima beans. Oh, they got whatever. lamb. They, they got they, lamb. They, they, they probably do. We are so <laughs> ignorant. I should know Damn, better than us. I should know what kind of food that was that we were eating, but it definitely ain't Mexican food. It the, was. What did they have euros there? Euros. No. Gyro. I, I can't say. Gyro. I, I can't gyro. not say gyro. They had gyro. Gyro. I ain't said gyro, gyro since gyro. I was a kid. So I, once I finally learned how to pronounce it, that's how I've been saying euro. They it's call them donors out there. And Don- it, yeah, donor kebab. Donor kebab. Donor kebab. Donor kebab. Yeah, I love there. that. Can, what? That's the only you can eat. And it's open all night when you're in Europe. Uh-huh. And everything else is nasty as shit. Yeah. So you got to have them shave you down some of that. I could crush me donor. a donor kebab what? all day. What? Donor, what? donor, what? I don't know. Yeah. A organ donor. <laughs> But yeah, we were out there, man. We decided, like, I don't know. I was, I was cool with two Paramount rappers, though. Who else? Fo Honey. Oh, he's from there. Yeah, he's from the P. And they they give him a hard time about that sometimes. Well, he used to be a crip from the P. I think he was mm. from Gundry Block. Right, man. We're gonna shake the streets up when the Snoopy Badass interview drops. Man, I heard about that one, homie. He. <clears throat> I heard that one gonna be cold. It's he gonna ate. Be cold. It's gonna be uh. I heard y'all talking yeah. about a lot of. Man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? But you know, everybody hate me more. I'm about to come out with some merch, say hate me more on it. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, the truth, the speaker of the truth has no friends. Oh, look at that. You know Mexican mean? Lebanese fusion. See? That makes sense. Okay, you're right. See, but we were both right. Yeah. We were both <laughs> right. Because it's a fusion joint. I just did was no, conceived it's, in prison. Exactly. It was conceived in prison. I wonder what they were doing time <laughs> for. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, you it goes deep. They, it goes sh- deep. They, they, <laughs> they bust the down, they put pickles on top. <laughs> they don't use pickles on nothing but sandwiches at other spots. Yeah, they put pickles too. on top of it. I'm like, you already know the hot pickle. That's all you got. You got to chop him up and make him work. I feel like people hate on the fusion type stuff, but to me, it's like if I go to like 18 Mexican trucks in a row and they're all exactly the same, I start to crave something a little bit different. So yeah, for sure. I can appreciate them going sure. with a different, a different they, twist. We should put like a commissary. I, I go crazy. You should, we should put something like a stand somewhere at Rolling Loud, like spreads only. I'm going to have rice bowls with the cheesy rice, the cheese puffs with the cheese bar, the pepper cheese bar. I, I vote that we shit. go into business with Crip Mac so, and we make him 50% on owner hood. on hood. On hood. On that six, shit might oh. work. Oh, you five me, that shit might work. <laughs> 
So you're telling Good me fold. there was a Lebanese guy and a Mexican guy that was in prison. Yeah, we're supposed to. They probably them? just came together because it's it's infused. It's, it's a fusion, so that means two different types have came together. Broke baby on that to green make again, like this. I mean, look at through the menu at Fatima's Grill in Downey, California. You'd never guess that it was mostly designed and envisioned within the walls of a prison cell. No, they don't serve Ja Rule's prison casserole or makeshift chocolate cakes, but its owner Ali El Reda spent almost eight years in the federal correctional institution, Safford, working the kitchen and dreaming of a day that he could let his passion for food shine. Fatima's Grill beautifully marries El Rita's Lebanese roots with an appreciation for Mexican food that he gained during his time behind bars. So basically, he got turned out by the South Side Spread. Yeah. He chose to work in the prison's kitchen where he spent most of his days learning about cooking food, and tortillas. which he knew nothing about, Mexican culture from his fellow inmates, and how to be efficient under the pressure of having to cook for over a thousand inmates. He was taking care of a thousand mother. So look, oh, right? Go up there. Look, go up. Roll, so look, roll, right? Back up. Scroll back up a little they bit. They probably right didn't even need Damn. bricks in there. They probably right, go, go crazy with them knives in the kitchen. Mm. Play with one of them, they going to shank your ass up. So I don't know. He probably just decided to do Mexican food because it's so popular well, in po- Southern California in general. Swifty said that him and his people had a big influence on that. Yeah? Yeah, I think he supposed to be in on the menu, whatever. Like, And so basically you got DMs after we got done hanging out with Swifty by a lot of people telling us basically that we were uh, – in danger, putting ourselves out there with with Swifty Blue. True or false? He's a controversial guy. Uh, it's true. <laughs> it's true. I just don't know how the other shit was off limits with this one. Oh, <laughs> like, my, like, like, okay. Like, if you don't want me to say that, I won't say that. You don't have to go into depth. The only thing was bro, off limits nah. was me just not wanting to put yeah, sn- no, no, no. smut on a random person's yeah, no, name. Yeah, no, no, no. It's, it's wait, wait, you that know, wasn't you a know. random person. That's okay. a very well-known person. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to do him dirty <laughs> no, do do it, do when I, we don't have any like you hard and fast evidence. We don't got the paperwork. You said we need the paperwork. We running, we running no jumper like the pen. But right they're here. thinking that we're talking about the Fetty Wap right now. Oh, yeah, we selling Fetty. They're going to think that that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Even though we're talking about something totally different. Absolutely so look, right? different. So look, right? They was hitting me though to keep it one thousand, but like I said, you have know said, hey, be more. You know what I'm saying? Don't be late, uh, They saying that oh, we was in danger being with him, and he was green lighted and all that. He was comfortable in the month walking around there. We was walking through there. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all DMing. You know what I'm saying? With the Twitter fingers, you know what I mean? Pull up. Cause you not pulling up on Adam and Brick baby nowhere. Let's just be real. Let's just I, I'ma just keep it a thousand on six. So we're gonna make it rain. It was like the uh, United uh, Nations. We're gonna make it rain. We have like uh, possibly the greatest living African American, <laughs> the greatest living Caucasian boy, Come white on, boy, man. and then Swifty Blue, who the greatest. I, I don't know, but South Sider. He might be the greatest living Mexican, man. as far as I know. He, yeah, shout out Kodak Black too, man. He was with, with he came to the P. He I went know. to the P. F- Swifty. We should have came down then. Yeah, we would have got high. Sharp, you should have been there too. I would have slid. Everybody I had work th- yesterday. Everybody thinks you're Mexican, but it's it's a, it's, it's a, okay. It's a conspiracy Black, theory. Black, it's f- retarded. When people say that to you, you still that's f- retarded. You get triggered. Bro. Do I get treated? I shouldn't even be saying that. No, I, I just hate when they go like this. I mean, I'd rather them say I'm Mexican versus just Sharp's not black. Mm. That's all I would have went. I would have like, went Puerto fuck? Rican before I went Mexican. Like, it's just anyway. my hair, That's because he's so yeah, well yeah. manicured. That's all it is. You have to straighten Thank you, your bro. hair. You think my hair looks good, bro? Yeah, it looks amazing. Thanks. You have to. <laughs> what, what's the, you, what's the, you don't have to straighten it, right? The, it's just like the, that. What's the remedy? It's treated. Okay. But you have it's to think treated. about it. Yeah. What do you treat it with? It's lie, dye, and laid to the side. Come on, man. Come on, baby. real, man. Lie, dye, and laid to the side, man. So, you know, I remember back in like 2009, right? I'm going to keep it brief. Back in 2009, man, you know, I was in Dago. I had a lot of bitches, man. I was running the bitch. I'd be having trying to have bitches choose me on the beach. I said, man, my shit, because I wore presses. My shit kept crinkling up because yeah. of the humidity. Yeah, the humidity. So I say, fuck it, nigga. My, uh, before soon to be baby mama was like, she was in salon. She was like, look, come through here. I'll get your shit done for you. You know what I'm saying? That way it don't crinkle up and shit. My hair was long at the time. So I just always kept them even with it being yeah, short. Yeah. So, so I still the treatment, just the keep treatment my shit. is, I don't know if you use a perm treatment, but it's, it's something not. like a perm. It's something, it's something in those, like that's it. what I was just about to say. Yeah, that's why I didn't not. want to say it was a perm. Right. So it's something like a perm. So it would look, would you have an afro if you didn't do that? Yeah. 
Really? Girly? Yeah. Those oh girls God. are, are Girly. full. Yeah, yeah, Girly. yeah. So. What the fuck is up with people? Why don't people have afros more? I have to say this. I just this, think right? it's the coolest hairstyle I can I, think of. I have of. to say this. What can we define? Because I always hear a lot of people say, like, what is black? I don't like that, bro. Because they'll, be like, they'll be like, you don't look black. I'll be like, well, what's black to you? Because I don't mm. have big lips. Because they say I that. Have like a, I don't have black Adam might not skin. like this, but like, they say that, that, they say like, that everything came from a black penis, from a melanated penis, because we're the only people that can spit out any color. So what does black look like? What does it look like? You didn't know that? You didn't know that they're saying that let, we let were, me really, I we were analyze the original this. human beings, and they're saying that right. being white is a... Uh, 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 I got to do defense. my homework. I got, actually, I have some research. You got some research? Yeah, I'm going to tap in with Lil Reese and do my research, do research on uh, who was the first man. Because <laughs> yeah. I just don't. I, I don't yeah. know. I haven't really looked well, into that. I don't like that. that shit, though, dog. Ain't that like, what they say? They say, I mean, you know, but it's two sides to every story. Right. But nah, though, they say that we, like, were the first humans. And now they said that it's a genetic defect, how the Caucasians came along. Like, I, I know. I <laughs> well... Know. I'm defect, my friend. No, I'm I just think I'm telling quite you. effective. No, no, I'm it's telling you defective. what it is. Oh, okay. they're saying that all of a sudden there was people that couldn't take the sun and couldn't take that. That's because when they were having albino or whatever, oh, and I could take the sun. Mating, they kept mating. Yeah, you were in the sun. Creole people. Yesterday. No albinos You're not in my talking lineage. About yourself, though, we're Wait, talking about Creole people. Let's talk about people. Side. Five million. What do you do to your skin when you go to the beach? Well, I do. Go do you to put the anything beach. on? Nah. Damn, that's so cool. No, nah. yeah, that's nah. so crazy. <laughs> I, don't get, hey, I don't get sunburned. Yeah, I don't get I never sunburned. Had all life. Yeah, nah. You never put suntan lotion on. Uh -uh. Even when I go with no lotion on, See, I might get a little darker, but that's about yeah. it. But when I was in France, it was beautiful, super hardcore sun. And after a couple of days of rocking hella suntan lotion, I wasn't really getting the color that I felt like I deserved. So I went out there just raw dog, just nothing on me, and I got a ton of color. But then at the same time, I could see like my nose, like everything was, was just red? getting a little. I, I, I could tell it's it wasn't peeling? good for my skin. You were peeling? I didn't start peeling. Oh, God. I peeled a little bit on my chest. Actually. Yeah, I got jumped by two white dudes last week. We were jumping his ass. Last week? <laughs> yeah. Who? You and Bootleg Kev. Oh, I wait, we didn't jump you? Nah, I didn't jump me. What's I said, up with that, no, man? I said I'm outnumbered today. Usually we outnumber Adam. Now you were, we're just, back to you were bummed because you had bigger pervs than you in the yeah, room. You yeah. knew more about porn. Yeah, nah. Yeah. What did you, you say? Know, I so. didn't know Bootleg Kev knew anything about porn. Oh, he's, like, a, oh, he's a big, big perv. He's a fucking, he's a big perv. I'm fucking this bitch like a perv. Big perv, guys. Huh? What was Bootleg Kev doing in the neighborhood? You know. Just swang by. He was co-hosting with us. How was it? That was good. It was good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a, I may be the greatest living white boy. Swaggy. He's he's got to be top five. Top five. Well, you, think he, you think he would beg to differ that one? Do you think he'd, he'd so disagree? So where does he? Because top five <laughs> is Milk Seven Four. Ooh, uh, Vlad. Is Vlad. Logic. So it's like that shit. They Straight know up, I don't mean even. it. They know I don't mean it. No, they Milk's having a good week up. though. Hey, yeah. He, oh, he's having a good week. <laughs> He's been making some. I actually watched some of his content this week. Oh wow! Yeah, on so, who? Uh, I'm not gonna get into it. But come on, we have to come he's on. Been give throwing me the some shout accusations out, out there. You Gilligan? No, I. But he made a video. Oh, he made a video about us that I did not watch. But it's titled like Adam Twenty Two and Brick Baby say that they're gonna be smoking me when I get killed or some. Hey, yeah, lie. we did. I don't lie. church be speaking on me, he be sounding hella game goofy. I be like, bro, how is all these street <laughs> niggas ain't never knew nothing about no pimping, man? This shit be crazy. Bro, or you ain't never had one to be homie from a hood from on your Figueroa. neighborhood. No, 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 he's not really like, promoted. Nigga, so the backstory, like me, the backstory on Milk is that he's B Rad from Malibu's most wanted son. <laughs> Um, <laughs> That's how he got on up. So look, no, nah, no, nah, he's, he's from that. he's from like Palos Verdes, like up South Bay. You know, Milk is? yeah. So he had the car. Yeah, I mean, he ended up coming across the movers, and they used to use him for his car, his little shit, and you're, all that. You're so being serious? You don't think I'm he's actually serious. from over there? I'm West Side rolling, cuz, hey, nigga, give us an address on, nigga, nigga, between Vermont, nigga, and Broadway, nigga, in between Florence and Manchester. I bet you he can't do it. I'll plead the fifth. I don't know. I got I this is this is me. You know I got I ain't people gonna from talk every too much hood. on that nigga. But milk, be proud from where you from, nigga. Yeah. Be nigga. proud to be from where you he from. He was the you army with East, the court. Nigga, you're from South Bay, East Bay, nigga, wherever you from. I know some real ones no, up there. Nobody, be proud, nigga. Nobody's in the history of gangbanging. It's a very few that come on, bro. You niggas 
been gang banging. You ain't never been a juvenile hall. You ain't never been in none of these schools with us. You ain't never been in no probation schools. Like, where is the stories coming from? You ain't been, like, I know some white boys that gang bang, but they was with us. I met them in jail and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when have you went to jail? Like, when have you, like, what's what's going on? You just been squeaky clean? Because where I'm from, if you another race, we finna put you to work. You got to <clears> prove <throat> that you want to be with us. Mm-hmm. You got to. You are already the eyes is against you. So you think they might have got some mileage out of them? For sure. Oh, really? Good gas mileage. All right. So, but you probably, it seems like you don't actually know what what happened. So I guess Smack said something about milk on Bag on Fig, right? Yeah. He said something about how milk don't be representing his gang enough or something. I might mess the story up, but like something like that, where he was basically criticizing the way that milk be gang banging on YouTube. And so that milk decided to then make it his mission to go in on smack. And his main point that he's really been emphasizing, trying to say, like, he's basically calling smack a loser, talking about you broke. You don't, you got a phone, you know, like all this shit. (coughs) And then got a phone. I don't know if that's true or not, but like, bro, but what? then also like really pressing the fact that like Smack, I guess, is not on the LLC of Back on Fig. So basically, he's representing that he, he owns it or something. I don't know if he actually says that he owns it, but Milk's pressing his line saying, you're not being treated right, you're not being paid right, yada, yada, yada. So that's like where their attention comes in. And then I guess last night, I only saw like a fucking one minute clip of it, but they called <coughs> someone from Seven Foe on back on fig and then that person was basically saying that milk can't claim whatever he can't at this point. so if, i'm not sure how official the person that they called was he sounded very convincing on, bro them real hoovers call it real hoovers what you mean milk. do you want him to be a white gangbanger you like saving him right now you ain't no fucking <laughs> nigga on the hood. He like, he I going not, in the, i'm invested fuck, fuck in his downfall the dead um, he's like look bro I don't think so. Exactly what I just told you just came out and then another sentence. Like, you not, nigga, they was using, whoever brought you to the hood, they used you. You fell in love with that shit, nigga. You not really from Hoover, nigga. You ain't, you not going to the pen and staying on the main line with this Hoover shit. You know what I'm saying? You not, come on, bro. Like, let's be real. Like, white boys don't gangbang black hoods. I think that that's what the guy on the phone was saying was basically like, if you can't go back there, then you're not allowed to be on YouTube repping it and claiming Yada yada. I don't know. Oh, he I've got seen, summits. Hey. He got he got he got the boot. I don't know if he like formally got the boot, but he's basically. Did you say that he stopped saying the seven point four seconds with when he smokes in the beginning? He ain't saying that no more. Oh, allegedly. Oh, shit. Which is crazy. Hey, and I know some white boys, man, they're really from the day. Yeah, nigga. that's what I said. Like, but I'm talking about they're active. Hey, active shout out though. Banker T, nigga. Like, One of the illest active, white though. boys out there. Like, you got to overdo it. They, they, they got just to. Grew up it's like affirmative like, action. Like, yeah. But I know yeah. niggas that's really like grew up over there. Got okay. put on over there. Affirmative action. Well, you gotta like, you know, if you're not supposed to be in that position, yeah, then you gotta, you gotta work harder. Yeah, but no, it's, it's the opposite of affirmative shit. action, like where the standard is harder yeah, for white dudes, right? Hey, I've noticed a lot of gangs these days are diverse. Really? You got they got trans people? No, bro. <laughs> yeah. Come on, church. You, you well, that's that, diverse. You didn't see that. You didn't see the tranny on 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 Western. I you did. And nigga, and his homie jumped out on him. I ain't even gonna say what hood it is because they gonna think I'm trying to talk shit. All I know is he said you ain't from the set. And he like nigga, I hollered at the big homies, nigga. I got kids. Oh, that's a classic right there. That's crazy. Because I was asking Wack about that. I'm like, would you? be in favor of rejecting somebody from a hood on the basis of that sort of thing. I forget what his answer was. He's, he's trying to be all woke and stuff. I don't know. Wax the, the, the Matrix got the Wax. Member, though. But Wax's not a gang member. Uh, How is he not a gang member? He even said he ain't been in the streets in years. Okay. Well, he's, he he's, said he's not a gang member. He's not a gang banger. He's not standing on the corner. Yeah. He's but, saying that, but he's putting everything on Pyro to leave that shit alone. If you ain't from over there, don't put it on there. But you know, these are whack. Whack is an interesting dude. I, I, I'm I, whack is growing on me. You know that? I, mean, like, well, I don't really whack. hate whack. It's I not never my friend, did. But I don't hate whack never because did. I'm just listening to whack, and it's like, you know what, whack? You're you fuck with these troll type people because this is your profession. Like you and six nine are the same people. I'm not saying like 
snitching because I do, we don't have the paperwork, so we're not I saying give nothing it to about him, snitching. Though. But he's doing his thing and he's everywhere. I and, gotta give it to and him, and he he knows how to stir the pot. He's mm. I'm a, I'm a, I gotta give it to him. Gotta give him roses where they do. He's a smart dude, man. He mm. know how to move. Like I've had many conversations. That's why when he say like I've talked to Sharp all the time, I talk to him. Church, he got game. Like he knows what's going on. Like but, how to run this media space, shit. He and do. that's only there as far as gang banging. <clears throat> anything else, I don't know I him as. You know what I'm saying? Really I ain't really never met none of his like homies. That. I ain't never met like. But what I do know is he got this shit on lock. My dream is to bring all of the warring sides of No Jumper together and have Brick Baby be cool with Wag 100 and have Almighty Suspect be cool with Swifty Blue so the Swifty Blue can just be here chilling. I got to work on that. I got to hit up Suspect and let him know, hey, Swifty is cool. He ain't really trying to, you know, have a problem with you or anything. I don't know why I'm saying it right now on here instead yeah. of just saying it to him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I feel was, like I feel like it could happen. Why, yeah. It could happen. It could happen. We're gonna be able to bring everybody uh, together. You, you and Wack are cool now after a little we, little war. We had a little war. Me and Wack, it'd take a little bit more for me and Wack. That we really got to sit down and holler though. Yeah, we might actually like, need yeah, to have yeah, like yeah, a, yeah. A, a chain link fence between you guys. Nah, it's no? cool because whatever emotion is there, it need to be dealt with right there. Yeah. It's cool. Shit, if it go left, it go left. Ain't the first time some shit went left. Do you think it would be better to do it on the podcast, or you think you should go outside and scream at each other? We not gonna scream because once we uh, get to screaming, we might as well. They fight. grown ass men, yeah. I don't yeah, see that we happen. might as well fight. I'm we gonna do that you. face to face. Ain't That's gonna be the shit no yelling match. Phone. Okay. I, I don't know how many pieces of spit I could take before I get off, <laughs> and, and vice versa. You know what I mean? I believe that just yeah, for men, just yeah, yeah, two men collide. Yeah, you know, two men. Yeah, but do you think? Would you trust your friends, or would you trust his friends to facilitate that conversation? I mean, if it happens here, then it's even more likely to be a conversation. Yeah, out of the, the, the mutual of the respect, day, right? It's a mutual respect because we're coming somewhere and we're linking up to chop it up. We we're knowing that we're trying to find a middle ground mm -hmm. to find peace. It's not. We're pulling up, and whatever happens, happens. It's not one of those situations. It's like if I pull up on you to holler, then we gonna holler. You know what I'm saying? If shit go left, we came to holler so shit could get right. You know what I'm saying? So if it go left, it's gonna be like a minor left. Back mm. to back to the yeah, milk man, situation, like though. He a fucking hater. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna keep that shit a band, church. Like for real. It, you just you really want to come up here to no jumper, church. If you really want to come up here and sit down, my nigga, bang a nigga line. We'll get you up here, church, and we'll see if we can't get you on a show or two. Maybe the news. You know what the <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you want to do something, Jack, news. I'm just keeping yeah, it a band. Maybe, the news. Yeah, the maybe news, we can man. put you on the news or something, man. We don't know. But like Rick Baby's the, trying to put them on the news. The bullshit and all the Gilligan sure. talk. And all the extra shit. Headliner. Like, if you want to be homies, Bars. if you want to be homies Headliner. with niggas. If you want to be homies with niggas, hey man, I always say this: if you want your ball back, knock on the door and ask for it. We'll go in the back and get it for you. Uh -huh. Stop trying to get half your arm blown yeah. off, trying to hop over the fence. Hey, but peep game though. The fact is, is that Milk and Smack situation like mirrors me and Milk's situation exactly. Where Smack like like had been cool with him and everything, had conversations with him, and then at some point Milk just decided like fuck him and just starts going <clears throat> in on him and That's making videos about. Me, it's the bro. same exact he thing did with me. me. The same way. Yeah. You did me the same way. Start talking about me when me and academics had our riff. Like that shit ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. Like mm. why are you sticking your nose in it? Then when I hit him up about it, because he had said something in my DM, I hit him back like, I, I bang a nigga line. He ain't answer. I said, nigga, why you running? Like, what's I, I up? I think Milk, Milk doesn't want to have relationships with anybody because he don't. Ev everybody that he's cool with is stopping him from making an extra God. $200 this yeah. month on YouTube yeah, sure. from making videos yeah, sure. about him. So sure. every relationship he must blown. be destroyed yeah. to smithereens so way. that he can continue to make these YouTube videos. I thought he was cool. And I ain't never crazy. had no problems it's with crazy. him. He got you, weird never on me. See, you never see a post outside. Never. You never seen him. He go to the rooftop of his condo. Well, he had to walk to the gas right station one time. On, uh, nah, nah but like you can. <laughs> he, he films in front of the window, so you can see like exactly where he's yeah. at. So it's like if anybody really wanted to do something, he's he's doing a very bad job hiding. If that was the idea. I just yeah. think, man, you need to stop the hate, man. Motherfuckers need to start to congratulate and stop the hate, well, man. Well, you know, real, he's on real. the borderline of two cities and that other city ain't nothing to play with. Ain't nobody trying to make it rain. I'm probably like one of the only people that made it rain routinely in that city. Woo yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to, I was I was the forecast, man. I went to high school <laughs> over there for a couple of years. You did yeah. meteorology? Yeah. And you were making it rain? Making it rain. Or do you do like voodoo? What's that? A what's, rain dance. Uh, uh, you, perhaps. What's, what's that machine that they use? The uh, the Doppler. Doppler. What is uh, the Doppler? They call me Big Dop. What is a Doppler? Big Doppler. Big Doppler. Yeah, Big Doppler. <laughs> I could change the weather, nigga. 
<laughs> what is a Doppler? What is, a Doppler ultrasound is a non-invasive test that can be used to estimate the blood throw through, flow through your blood vessels. I think we got the wrong one. Well, what's a Doppler effect? <laughs> yeah, I need to throw the word weather in here. <laughs> Damn, they got mad Dopplers. Um, basically... Doppler sound like some fire head. Weather, Doppler that weather radar Doppler. is an instrument that sends pulses of electromagnetic energy into the atmosphere to find precipitation, determine its motion and intensity, and identify the precipitation type, such as rain, snow, and or that's hail. That's why they call me Doppler, nigga. It depends on your motherfucking vibe. If I'm going to let it rain, snow, or hail on your motherfucking <laughs> ass. You know what I'm saying? See? We, might go, we might drizzle some shit on you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh you finna oh, drizzle man. someone? Yeah, drizzle. Not drizzle. <laughs> Yo, I had a I had a, a foul pause when we were at Fatima's Grill. I almost yeah. feel bad for that when that comes out because he was like, "Yeah, you know, we be fucking," and I'm like, "Whoa!" whoa, pause. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and I'm like, "You be fucking bitches, right?" Yeah. Is what you meant to say? He's like, "Yeah." I'm like, "All right, yeah." People out here think they're safe from the pause. Yeah. That's why every yeah, time, nah, every time we try to pause. eliminate the pause and like make people stop doing, because I do believe that the nah, pause is. Did you see how mad the I OG do believe, got when you uh, paused? Yeah, I know, right? I'm like, nah, G, that's a pause. That's I do a, believe that the pause is bad podcasting. We don't talk about bad, bad podcasting enough these days, but pause is not the greatest form of no, podcasting because no. it's just kind of simplistic and easy. Don't do and that. It's just low hanging fruit, don't do but. That. <laughs> then someone says some gay ass shit, hey, and I gotta just come through with the pause, with the Pittsburgh logo tattooed on my face, like, like I'm hanging look, out with Swifty Blue. Look, bro, <laughs> Cam and Mesa is my favorite show right now. Uh -huh. Pause is absolutely, absolutely funny. Oh, pause! Don't is Don't say that that's bad podcasting because. But you're I'm talking like, about two of the pause goats right there. Pause goats. Yeah. That's what I'm like. Come on, bro. We gotta. You know what I'm saying? Don't do them like that. It's not bad potty. I, hey, I, 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 I got a hair question for you. What's going on? What's that shit all about? What, 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 what's, what's, give me the philosophy of your hair and like what's going on with it. It was green. Now it's blue. Yeah. Tell me well, about the hair. You caught me at a bad time. When oh, I first, word. When I first came out, I was, I, was, I was depressed. I was going through shit. Remember, I was. And that's going, why your hair was green? No, nah, I just like wasn't going to green? get it dyed back blue. Oh, okay. So usually, you know, blue Jesus with the blue dreads. That's me. Right. You know what I mean? And I wear these hairstyles to be different from it other looks kind of satanic it. yeah that's what it's supposed it's to supposed look. to look like yeah it's supposed kind of demonic you like the the puff balls didn't you you like the big buns on both sides puff balls are cool so you if you remember, take those out right now to just become a puff no you remember did you see when i wore the two on the news you trying to look like lady of rage yeah remember her yeah lady of rage let's take a look that's at lady of rage. it's been a while since that's i thought baby about her if you don't know who the lady of rage yeah. is that's baby d <laughs> you'll know baby d she said don't do it you, yeah, who's that's Baby D? Yeah. yeah, that's why you looking at me like that because you don't know <laughs> Baby D. I she sell dope, do hair, and baby sit out the same house. Police, Police don't, don't know when to kick the door in. What the fuck are you talking about? Am I missing something here? <laughs> she was on Friday. She was that on was Friday. Yeah, Lady Rage next, was. She was on next Friday. That yeah. was on next Friday. Outside the record store. Outside. You the remember she was chasing store. Mike Epps around the car and he threw her he a cookie. Left the cookie right there. Said, look, it's not wrapped. You can get to it real quick. I'm about to give you guys some ammunition, but I don't know if I ever saw next Friday. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Which one did you Have you seen any of them? No, I've seen the first one hell of times. Yeah. No, the, you oh, have they, to go. They go to Rancho Cucamonga, right? That's where they I, were. I, seen the like, I at least seen like the first half. Yeah. yeah. So the big girl, all right, you know the girl that was pregnant that pepper sprayed Day Day? Yeah. But she came it's out been a and he while. got, he got uh, Mike Evans got sprayed in the face of the How do you head. remember a movie you haven't seen in 10 years this well? Man, I just saw that motherfucker I mean, on BT. Black people watch Friday. Friday so you just butt. walk in the hotel and put it on. Anytime on Friday, TV. oh, we sit down watching it. Straight up. They coming out with a new one. Really? And Chris Tucker's back. And Ice Cube's not involved? No. Because he won't get vaccinated? No, he's involved. Oh, okay. It's him. It's Ice Cube, Chris Tucker, uh, DC Young Fly, and O'Shea Jr. Okay. And then it's... Mike Epps is on the, is still there too. And is every thirsty ass LA personality trying to get a role in the next Friday? Uh, I think they already shooting. I think <laughs> they already put out the cover. Last Friday, last of the month. Friday, yeah, last, last Friday. Friday of the month. I don't know shit. about the month. I know it's just say last Friday. All the skit kids trying to get a fucking cameo, you know? Who's, That's how they. A lot did. of people out here trying to come up off skits. That's how they did. Uh, what you call it? What uh, do you feel uh, like the new house party? 
uh, right. the dub and all of yeah, that. Yeah, they integrated Dude, everybody honestly, who got something going on in there. Yeah. You have to think about the people that like really set the foundation for that film overall, right? Because some of them people are gone. Tiny Lister, John Witherspoon. Like, you know, we don't know if Chris Tucker's ever going to come do it. He didn't got no, that Chris rush Tucker hour back. Money. But I'm saying he got that rush hour for a while. He got that rush hour he money. He was working back. with Jackie Chan. Yeah. He wasn't looking back. Yeah. But he then, was getting that real Even wild. on the flyer, he got a pseudo with a cross. He don't got no regular. So basically, remember, Smokey went to rehab. He went to rehab. So he probably going to come back a preacher or something like, like oh, some Big Worm going to still be in the face on love? I don't know. I got to check the characters. Because these are all, like, iconic people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, it's like. Who going to play Debo? Or what they going to say about Debo? Who's going to play Tiny List? They nigga. probably going to be like, Debo. Rest in peace. They gonna probably, but they got rid of Debo already. He wasn't a character on uh, the, uh, Friday After Next. Because he went back to jail. Remember, he got caught up. Yeah, but he would never he show. The, they never the showed his face at all. He's so serious about the Friday cinematic universe yeah, over here. That's a, this <laughs> is big. Black community. Black community. This is a, Friday yeah, is big. Oh, he got taken out of the third movie. Yeah, that's like no, fucking Avengers. He, that's like how white kids think of Avengers and shit. Like, yeah, yeah fucking the Hulk's not coming, whatever. You know yeah. what I mean? Marvel versus You tell me that. black kids don't like the Avengers? I don't know. I feel like they do. Probably nowadays. No, they were Dragon Ball Z and Man, the Avengers, we right? Was, we wasn't fucking with that. Everybody wasn't. It's a couple niggas we used to call them nerds. Niggas that was fucking with Dragon Ball Z and Pikachu and all Blurs. that shit. We need to see if we can get Adam a, a role in the next one. Yeah. So you need to the be last Friday. Friday. You need to People be always here. hit me up about wanting to have me in the movie. I'm not doing he it. Needs Back to, to the, the ghetto, Back you go. Back to the ghetto, you go. I'll take a starring role. Yeah. 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 Hey, but think about the fact that we waited, what, like 20 years for a sequel to How High, and then it came out, and, and nobody gave a fuck. Didn't it go straight back. to BET? Nobody, I, I didn't see it. Like, yeah. I mean, well, shout out to Yachty. I mean, I would, I would like to. Real, but see Friday it, had three other, like, it has two you other ones to the first one. The so you rapper. got other stuff to watch of it. How High was just one of them. You can't just oh, yeah. go put a gang of rappers in a movie. But that's what they'd be trying to do. You yeah, should, like, in theory. Like, why did Baller block and work? Why did Peyton Full work? Why did uh, Killer Season like, work? Drewski need to be in a movie. That's who they need to give a star role to. Drewski needs, he's the funniest motherfucker. This is my problem, around. though, is that I feel like once you get into that movie making process, that it's it? such a soulless, draining thing that just sucks all of the life and fun out of whatever it is that I could see that process even kind of like ruining the Drewski energy. Like, I feel like maybe if he gets too serious about the movie shit that that could fuck up. Well, he, I mean, he probably is working on a movie. Yeah. But I just, I hope that if he does do it, that it won't drain the spirit out of him. Because he has been bit. so funny for so long, and he has not lost his superpower. A lot of times these comedian-type dudes come out, yeah. you think they're funny for like six months or a year, and then you just kind of end up being like, eh, I don't really give a fuck. I can't tell you how many comedians I interviewed where I thought they were super funny, and then I watched like a podcast or two, and I watched a couple of specials before I interviewed them, and by the time I got ready to interview them, I did not really think they were that funny anymore. But, you know, sometimes they like earn their way back into my brain a little bit to like kind of make up for it as time goes by. But content gets um, dry. Oh, yeah. You know, it's like it's kind of hard to one up something when you already like you've hit a peak on it. You know mm. what I mean? Like you did something that went super viral. Everybody's waiting for your next one and it comes hella mid. Mm. You know what yeah. I mean? So I think that's where it gets kind of it gets fucked up. Especially it's, it's the hard. skit kids. It's when you're just hard, doing man. Instagram shit and you're trying to like recreate that viral fucking energy like over and over and over. It becomes and it's not like you have like a team around you to help write this shit it's or whatever. You're just going off that. the top. Yeah. That's, that's why you see skit kids and YouTube. YouTubers burn out nonstop. I don't know why I'm talking about the skit kids so it's, much. It's today. hard yeah, to keep yeah. up with I, it that. Seems like, it seems like you don't like skit kids. No, I like them. It's just a lot you of times like it gets kind of, you, you know, don't interview it's, any it's hard of? to keep the energy. Okay, if they're, they, yeah, if they're good what conversationalists. What I about to say, what skit kid is Desi Banks? He's been gone I just for did a long one, time. I uh, interviewed not too long ago Mojo Brooks. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The dude that's laid out with the sniper suit yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. I know Jack is funny. He's funny too, bro. Detroit cat. Like these dudes is, are moving. They were just all at Trey Day in Houston. They were all yeah, invited out I was there. To, I, Trey. Trey need to come on, man. Trey, cause that I'm gonna take it as a fence next year <laughs> if I ain't invited. Cause you know, yeah, you're my Trey boy. Day is huge. I in didn't Houston. get my invite. I didn't mm. get my invite. I didn't even know it was coming up, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
Next time, man, let your boy know. You know I'm sliding. Or make some motherfucking phone calls, Adam. I'll make some phone calls. Make some motherfucking phone calls. But in order to make some phone calls, first, I'm going to have to let y'all know that August 5th, the world's most controversial boxing phenomenon, Jake Paul is stepping into the ring with UFC legend Nate Diaz in what people are calling one of the biggest pay-per-view events of the year. Take your excitement up a notch this weekend and step into the ring with my bookie. My bookie provides a platform for you to be part of the action by providing best odds and prop bets for the Paul slash Diaz fight. Users can receive a special deposit bonus on their initial deposit all the way up to a thousand dollars using promo code no jumper. One word only at my bookie. Whether you're a fan of the baddest brother from Stockton or the problem child himself, every punch has the potential to be a game changer and every round holds a chance for you to win big. My bookie provides a platform Forum for you to be part of the action. Sign up using promo code No Jumper today and let the Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz showdown bring you more than just an adrenaline rush. Who you got in that, by the way? I feel like my boy uh, Nate is probably going to knock Jake Paul's block off, to be honest. Yeah, I don't see him going out, but it's a boxing match, but I don't yeah. see Jake Paul winning. Yeah, Jake Paul no. does all of this shit to lose. He knows he's going to lose. I'm not going to sit here and act like I am fully educated about this and everything, but... Every time a real UFC legend gets their ass beat by Jake Paul, it really hurts my feelings. And I, I say that I'm not like a Jake Paul hater or anything. We're cool. But at the same time, I just I, I want Nate to take this down for us. So yeah. <clears throat> No, nah, Nate got this one. I think he's stepping into the realm that he's always wanted to because, you know, he's been with Richard Perez and them, you know, boxing since forever. So uh -huh. I think this is where he really wants to be. I think this is where he's going to shine the most. His legs are gone. Like, I love Nate Diaz to death, bro. That's what I was about but to his say. legs are I gone. He can't take them leg that. kicks. Same shit like that. His, well, his it's lower a boxing body. Match, so that's all right. It's a but boxing it, but match. But your, your strength come from right here, too, though. Yeah, mm. it does, you know. But I just think he's about, to, he's about to get up here and show people what he, he really made of, man. It's time for him to go to the next level. A lot of these guys, I was talking about it yesterday with Le'Veon Bell, a lot of these guys, man, like, if you really look at it, Jake Paul is giving these guys an opportunity to really make some real money. UFC, they don't want to pay as much if you ain't a Conor McGregor or a Kamaru Usman, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you're not like this household name, Super and Nate Diaz sells the fuck out. Yeah. Well, him and his brother, some of the biggest names in the sport today, still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You announce their name and they come out, whole crowd's gonna erupt. This yeah. might be the biggest Jake Paul fight, if I had to guess, because it's definitely like his most legit opponent, right? I'm I mean, optimistic. No, no, not his most legit opponent because he just he fought Tommy Fury. Yeah, and Tommy Fury was legit. That's a legit. But wasn't Nate Diaz like a, a relevant UFC fighter more recently than Tommy Fury? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of yeah, out of, of the loop. Of of course, but I'm just saying, like if you really look at it, it's about to like he's fought Tommy Fury. Hey. Tommy Fury is a straight boxer. His brother, right, you know right. him, Tyson. Mayweather, Fury. give give they, give they're Jake boxers. a shot. See, but Logan Paul did the, the Mayweather fight. It was, it was Logan, boring right? as shit. It was Logan. It was super say, boring. Oh, all right, so they're brothers, was, right? You know okay. what? That Mayweather did what Mayweather does. You <laughs> yeah. stepped in there with an experience. This guy's got experience. He ain't got to be bigger than you. But that's why His you can't get excited beat. about seeing Mayweather fight anybody because it's always going to be a similar playbook, yeah. right? Yeah, but just to see Mayweather. Come. Until maybe one day see, you see somebody get a crack in that armor. They, they just want to see, see him lose. Mayweather come out. It, they, they just want to see him lose because you know what they Because they're never going to get another Mayweather fight. So right. these he, are Mayweather winning. fights. And, you know, people used to schedule their vacations around Mayweather fights. Like these are the most popping weekends in Vegas or wherever he's at. You come out. You show and prove. You know what I'm saying? You got your flyers closed. Like Mayweather fights are a fashion. Mm. It's like a fashion show. It's not just him <laughs> fighting. It's all the That's niggas, the all the dope boys, everybody all the rappers, comes out for everybody that. pulling out all their jewelry because they want to look like the money team. You mm. know what I mean? Hey, so I had an idea, and Remo was actually thinking the exact same thing I was, which he just texted me, is I'm about to call King Yellow and find out what happened with these Mexicans spraying his whip up. With Excuse his kid you. in the car. It's not even. I don't, I don't even want to make jokes about this shit because it's so fucked up yeah, that this happened. Up. But when I heard the kid was in the car, I'm like, damn. What I'm wondering is if he basically like instigated the situation because why else? Would Call him on Facetime. Hello, right? Adam sixty nine. Hello, sir. How you doing? <laughs> I'm Steve. How the hell are you, buddy? You're on air with me, Brick Baby, and the Sharp One. 
Ain't no Mexicans in there. Is there? Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, you about you get us on the food pages. You keep talking like that, man. So okay, wh- wh- as we was we was with the Southsiders yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Why were you in the Dino in the first place, bro? Man, my people, my people was out there. My people was out there. It's man. a long ways from Vegas, my friend. Hold on. You said what? It's a long ways from Vegas to uh, end up in in San Bernardino. Yeah, man. You know, I was just stopping by, man. I, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, that boy that yelling. To stop by, man. Okay, hey. so you're moving and grooving. Hey. Makes sense. Hey, yeah. Rick, baby has a question. I, yeah, Hello, I definitely Rick got baby. a question. Was you was you too tinted up for them to see that it was some kids man, in the car, bro? Because was, motherfucker wasn't even in the car, man. Motherfucker was outside. Motherfucker was out the car. You were in front of the house. So okay, break the whole situation down if for us. If you want to. To keep it gangster, I wasn't even standing right there. I was in the house. They didn't really didn't even blow at me. They blew at the, my kids, Ling, my brother, my brother, my sons. So what? You park and you went into the house and they were all out in the car waiting for you and somebody just shot up the car. No, that nobody that we wasn't. They wasn't in the car. The car was parked. Okay. They oh, so them were strays that went the through car, the car. They, they tried to hit. They were shooting at them. Yeah, they missed them and they hit the car. Oh, wow. so okay. Kids, was right. this a stranger or was there some kind of conflict already going on here? Why would it be a conflict? I just pulled up. I was the. I don't know them people, man. I don't know they dirty broke ass. <laughs> <Dead, laughs> Talk your be, shit, then, man. Oh, man. Dead, I mean, that was that was foul, tile, cuz on six so whatever that know, is need to be. It, that's foul. They damn near need to hand him his ass, cuz I look. What are you saying? It was, I am not a tool with no, they didn't even see me. They didn't even know me. It was just, obviously, that was a Mexican neighborhood, and they don't like black people. Obviously, you have people on their block. I ain't even see no black people. Okay. That's, that's so it, that's basically man. what it was. It wasn't even no situation where it was King Geller. It ain't had nothing to do with me. It was just skin color, basically. Wow, because in my head, I was kind of... In my head, I was imagining like King Yella kind of having a, like a road rage incident and, and tripping out on somebody. And but you're saying it was just totally random. I don't do all that, man. I'm not retarded or a kid, man. I don't have road rage. <laughs> do all that dumbass shit, man. Okay. Man, that's that's backwards, man. I don't. Man, listen, my brain think very clear. Oh hell no, nah. they, they shot at my pregnant girl, the kids. My girl's sister, the her kids, they were all outside. Wow. Me, my second son, and my little baby was in the house. I was in the bathroom pissing. And the shot started ringing. Bah, 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 bah. And I ran out. Ran out to Did you piss on yourself a little bit? Get out the way. <laughs> so, Brick Baby asked if you pissed on yourself during all this. <laughs> what you say? I fucking with you, cuz. No, I fucking with you. You said you was pissing. I said, nigga, in the middle of the piss, I said, nigga, you had to put that motherfucker up and run out. I said, you piss on yourself. Put that up. But you, you know, you know that shit normal. That shit normal to niggas like us. No, on rolling. That's why I said no. I wasn't saying that you piss your pants, nigga. I just you yeah, was pissing already, uh, nigga. I was making you know, a little was, joke. No, Lynn and the kids, they not they don't come from that shit. They you know what I'm saying? Oh, they six, don't. Uh, that's Man, crazy. See, see, King Yellow left the rack, but the rack hasn't left you apparently because shit's still going crazy. Nah, you, that shit that shit was foul play. We gotta that keep that you in the right crib, there man. Ain't even really funny. King Yellow is a national treasure. Like, oh. I was just with ain't King no, Yellow, man. Everything was cool. The rack, the rack is the, rack, the way that I move was always I mean, I listen take me out the hood, but the hood's still in me, but I don't move like that. You know, last time I've been shot at, nigga, I ain't nobody shot at me in years. What the fuck? I ain't been shot at years. Nigga been living his best life. Better living. Yeah, I don't go to that shit no more, man. I don't even, listen, man, I don't even know the last time I heard a gunshot, man. What the fuck? Damn. So, really, I really, when I heard it, I thought it was fire. Like, I was like, damn, I'm going to get that. Hell no, but I really, I was like, oh, shit, that was fire. Then I heard it again. So when I pulled up, I looked at, I'm from the trenches. This is the kind of trenches where we at. I'm, you know, it's screaming. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get that. You get that. Yeah, we in somebody else. Man, I, listen, instantly, nigga, they turn, turn the radio, <laughs> turn the radio down. I need to be in this 
us around us. What the oh, fuck really? So Don't draw no attention like, to you know, this motherfucker. Paying attention to where I'm at, and um, so I tell him already. Yeah, this look kind of little, you know, you know. Uh, but you know, my kids from Chicago anyway, so my kids, you know, they they used to they they you know they come from that shit too. But my older kids. My yeah. brother, you know, we come from that. Well, my my little kids, they don't, you know, they from out here. They don't know, you know. But uh, I actually, these niggas go walk down these people block, and a motherfucker tell them, I ain't gonna say all the shit, but a motherfucker tell them the name of where it was at. Da 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 da. And motherfucker um come back in the crib, and when they say that, I'm like, man, I checked the murder rate around this motherfucker, and woo do woo woo. Man, this say motherfucker down there. Twenty thousand people was killed in I forget what year it just said. Sixty some thousand people raped, all type of shit. Yeah, said, no. yeah man. This yeah, <clears throat> motherfucker. You better guard yeah, your time, booty hole. Time to pack it up. Man, why you got to hit him with that shit, Serge? Come on, man. If 60,000 people got raped in, Bro, in San Bernardino. You, why has it got to be like on oh, some, some shit like that? Why why couldn't it be just some regular? You like, know, 60,000 rapes is not regular. That's San a lot. San Bernardino County, go, I think it go down to the to the border or some it, shit. Man. San Bernardino County goes, go yeah. out to like the border of oh, cities. <laughs> Get this nigga bro. Fuck this He's he's I going know. that way. He's a white boy. Listen, like this nigga right here. here. Woo! Oh, Lil J might have a, a home waiting for him out there. Yeah, hey, let me ask <laughs> you, you this. You're going to have Lil J on. Lil J's going to kill me. Yeah, for sure. Lil J. I'll be his next body. Nah, Lil J's going to come try to fuck you on plug top. Grab you. Wait, what are you saying? I said, Lil J can't do nothing to nobody, man. He the one on camera doing this shit. These niggas getting caught on camera. They ain't think this shit have come out. Straight Sagoti. The, <laughs> the camera is the, is the whole problem. Hey, let me ask you this. So then you go on, on Instagram and you start talking about you fucking Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then you, you, you got all the food pages turning against you? Or do you feel like uh, you, you're getting some Mexican hate or what? I got a lot of Mexican hate, but niggas, <laughs> they saying they... They making it say I never even said nothing disrespectful. I said fucking mess for whatever I said. I ain't said no disrespectful. I ain't motherfucker like I went on that. They, oh, you could have said Spanish or listen. Mexican is Mexican. I don't. I don't know. I'm not a fucking Mexican. Y'all don't. I don't know yeah, y'all yeah, yeah. Uh, politics. I know it's motherfucking Pisces, Pisces and Serranos and they all don't even fuck with each other. So I don't even know why they all talking because y'all all don't even. Fuck yeah, you brought them together, pissed them all off by saying, but, but you didn't even man. say like a slur or nothing. You just said Mexicans in such a way that they all took it personal, right? Man, listen, I, listen, that's how I talk. I'm not gonna change my talk for no. But this the crazy person part. On this earth, more they talk about black and Mexicans, nigga. More Mexicans yeah. die than Mexicans so, so every year. Get, they hey, beef with each other more than they beef with us. These bitch ass niggas. So they mean every nigga. California niggas, Chicago niggas, every nigga is supposed to uh, spit it up and say something. Get the fuck out of here. As much as Mexicans be saying nigga, they got to cut that out. You didn't even call them no crazy <laughs> shit. You, yeah, you didn't go out. into now all the shit you could have said. I got to put some... Listen, man. I, I Listen, I understand whatever's going on, they they tell them about... But y'all don't... They don't run no fucking world, bro. It is what it is. Period. You say you ain't go... Ain't nobody scared of no motherfucker. I'm not worried about nobody. Motherfucker ain't do it. Charleston White just did the same shit over disrespecting them. Did yeah. Wack treat they ass too? Come on now. And yeah. he live out there. Leave him. Stop it, man. Yeah, but he'd he be violating everybody. Let's be real. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So don't come for me like it's going to be chicken ass. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I pray for you that the cartel leaves you alone. But uh, <laughs> what do you... um? How you feel I about... Cartel, man. Hey, yeah. I got a bonus question here. Uh... So we seen you on on uh, Instagram Live with a bunch of people that we would have probably previously thought were your ops. Do you feel like these Instagram Live sessions are actually going to help, like maybe uh, lower the temperature in Chicago, or you think it's just kind of like a, 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 a diversion? Um, that's the goal. You see me um, talking. We doing something different. You motherfuckers ain't never saw that, and that's very easy for a motherfucker. It's very easy. Could mm. change the world, man. Motherfucker change the world. You seeing me on that motherfucker? No matter what, motherfucker just saw motherfucker on that motherfucker. Cairo, um, all type of shit. Motherfuckers, these all niggas from different areas. These ain't, you know what I'm saying? Right. But motherfucker trying to do something different. 
could it, it could go the other direction too, though, because did you see uh, Ruga and Tay Six Hundred? Man, Tay ass was drunk, man. <laughs> Yo, that that was like, oh, this is the other way it could Tay go. Was yeah. cool, man, until he got around his homies, and it was his homie Baldy Day and shit like that. So then motherfuckers start showing out for the people. Uh, you know, some niggas listen to other niggas, man. Somebody might have been, oh. You on the phone with them all ass niggas? There's always gonna be a hater nigga in the hood that's broke as hell that ain't got nothing to do with game. Yeah, because a, a, a lot of this shit is gonna listen to. A lot of this shit can get. Game. I'm not listening. I don't know for how much a game member you is, nigga. Talk some money to me. Ain't no nigga gonna call me. I don't. You know how I many homies call me? Oh, you on there with Tay? Well, I don't give a fuck. I do <clears> what the fuck I wanna do. I'm a grown ass man. Pay my own bills. Fuck you. This is that. <laughs> Straight up, nigga, you can tell me who to talk to. You can't. What the fuck? There it is. From, from the mouth of yellow. Some, somebody trying to bring something together and change shit. But, like, just imagine if you... Do you know what this shit would do if it was a fucking... Uh, like I always... If it was a fucking dirt and a fucking duck and all these motherfuckers on one song? Do you... What? People wouldn't even know how to react. That bitch ain't gonna do nothing but so many numbers because it's gonna shock the world. Yeah, and that's basically the same shit what they seeing a motherfucker doing on the live. You seeing faces that you don't supposed to see together. That's what how. That's how it's supposed to be. Tripping. They got a grown man conversation. A motherfucker, because if a motherfucker could have, because it'll never hash out. Just imagine that motherfuckers who still got it that's forced to live there due to their financial situation, right? Imagine yeah. that they kids could walk outside and and, and, and and nigga and they GDs, BDs, whatever, and don't nobody be shooting a nigga could walk to school in that section and really be outside, really have block parties where you could shut down the main street. Like nigga, the city would be lit. Motherfuckers yeah, don't be seeing be what lit, type of man. money you could bring in. This these tourists, they wanna come down there. Y'all throw a block party right there. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker where everybody around the world could come to, man. Everybody wants to come down there to Chicago just to see the culture. And you can for sure yeah. say that it's going to be a ceasefire. Nobody coming. Come on, man. Y'all could, y'all could bring money to y'all section. I be telling you <clears> that all the time. At the end it's of the day, it was cool and fun and games. It was fun back in the day. Before niggas gonna keep before getting niggas life. Was dying away, niggas was too, but man. nigga, that shit not fun no more. Nigga, this shit real. Hmm. Nigga, go get some motherfucking money, nigga. Nobody give a fuck about all that shit, man. No Everybody. cap. No cap. At the, end of, at the end of the day, we all want some bag. Motherfucker wants some chicken, man. That motherfucker, that's Talk that shit, man. Talk that you got shit. You niggas that ain't getting no chicken, so they just want to keep game banging and killing each other. Yeah, they know what it is. Game so you, you're saying the J-Main beef is dead? Man, me and J-Main, man, get my shit together. Man. I ain't, it wasn't never no real beef. Like, I want to kill folks. It was just... You know, he said what he said, you know. Hey, but it hit different when you're talking about Yella's baby mama. Yeah, man, but shit, you know, I talked about his too, so shit. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sure. At the end of the day, and shit, he was wrong and I was wrong. But if we grown and we could sit down and talk about it, then we could sit down and talk about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, you know, and make things right, because at the end of the day, it really is, we the last motherfuckers left, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, out of the whole shit. Like, they may hit me yesterday. Be safe. But I can't, you know, I can't lose you to no dumb ass shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? But no, that's real. I got certain niggas that ain't even call and check up on me or nothing. You know what I'm saying? And it was hella different niggas that called me. Wack called me and checked on me. Like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? Wack's trying to get involved. <laughs> He's probably going to tell you that he knows somebody over there. And he's going to ring the doorbell. He's still checking. He's still Nah, yeah, yeah. Some niggas ain't even do that. Some niggas I know all my life ain't, you know? Damn. Yeah, nah, that shit mean a lot. Once I seen your kids was involved, that's why I ain't hit you. I'm man, like, man, that, that nigga, your head somewhere else, my boy. Because if it was just me, you would have never even saw nothing about yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I'm like, nigga. Once you said your kids was involved, I'm like, let you deal with like that. that. But, nigga, because it really wasn't me. Niggas did not directly go at yellow. You blew at my kids, bitch ass niggas. Fuck, you talking terrible. about you shooting at babies and pregnant women. Where well, I'm from, we don't do that. If it's a, I swear to, even to my homie, nigga, I'll smack the fuck out you, nigga, if I see a kid, if we was on the head or something, nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, nigga, like, Scarface, nigga, no, nigga, I said no kids, nigga, you shot that nigga in this shit, nigga, you trying to kill a kid. That's why I said he really needs to, they got to get DP'd or something, cuz, they got to yeah, get shot man. at or something, bro. I, I well, mean, not, I mean, you're talking about by his own people, that, though, cuz, there's kids outside. People that allow that shit, it's cool, killing anybody. 
Like we don't just you ain't you ain't just going to shoot at anybody. Oh, but it's it, it, on our block. Let's kill him. Like, the thing the is, the, yeah. Now, that, see, now that was a racial. That's racial. That was racial. Yeah, that's that was racial. 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 If you if, if, if you, nigga, we not finna just kill you, nigga. Hey, what y'all y'all. Hey, y'all know y'all in the wrong place, bro. That was oh, a motherfucker. Because I know, I know when they was going back, I know when they asked the kids whatever they asked them, them the, the kids told them they was from out of town for sure. You get what I'm saying? Fuck, so the yeah. fact that you double back on that, it had to be racial. It's like, nigga, we visiting our family. We from out of town. We don't Man, know what so the fuck going on over here. Yeah, it's nothing to do know. with what's going on out my, there, bro. Motherfucker just motherfucker moved over there, right? Who did? Yeah. Motherfucker was straight. I ain't even got to put all that in there, but yeah. my people, they moved over there. Okay. Um, moved over there, and they were straight. This thing that happened to niggas, it was la ladies and kids over there. Then when a motherfucker, niggas pull up, we wasn't there five, I mean, 10, 15 minutes. That long, that's how fast it happened. It happened that fast. <laughs> what? Are these some black niggas on our shit? Yeah, that's what it was. <clears throat> that's what it was. Everything. Everything. That's what it was. Yellow or uh, nah. Attacking over there. No. You know what time it might be? Here. It might be time for you to check in with Swifty Blue. Well, who? I check in. I ain't checking. <laughs> 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 All right, yo, look, Yellow, much love, bro. It was good talking to you. Thank you for clearing that up for us. All right, love. Appreciate you, dog. Fuck some. Hey, we learned. Yeah, yeah, nigga, right? We yeah, learned yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like he broke it down. I mean, me, they want me to beef with the nigga. It's like, nigga, listen, bro. On the hood, I ain't super hanging out with niggas. Whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying. I ain't. You know what I mean, like, I fuck with Dirk and them. I'm not from Chicago. I can't be in the middle of what y'all got going on, game banging. Well, I got all this shit going on. We content creators are the same type of shit from the streets. Started making content. Nigga, we cool. Because like, if you were to insert yourself stuff. into it, you know what it would look like to me or, or to <clears> most <throat> people? It would be kind of like people like try to have ops just for the sake of having ops. Like, yeah, oh, just because I'm yeah. cool with this person, you know? And it's like it would be different if – Yellas and, and Dirk just had a, a crazy ass fight or some physical shit happened last week where it's like it's really like going down like yeah. right now. Yeah. But it's like, you know, people just love the idea of having ops. You see what Bobby Schmurter said? He said that if you're over, what do you say, 21, you shouldn't have ops, which I mean, that, he might be setting the age limit a little low there. But, you know, at a certain point in your life, like for you to have people that, that you it's this serious with, like, listen, if you just end up in that situation, it is what it is, but there's a lot of people out there who are trying to have enemies just to because they think it seems cool because yeah. that's what rappers talk yeah, about, right? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, sure. it's the people that paint these narratives too. You got to think about it. Some shit may happen that wasn't even that big, but come Monday over the weekend, come Monday, here come everybody' opinion that didn't hurt yeah. anybody. Now they're posting and they're putting it to a bigger, bigger than what it is. Make niggas feel like they gotta get down because that's the way the narratives. The only paid. reason that motherfuckers are having ops off the internet is because, all right, if something happened and the motherfucker go on their shit and speak on <clears> what <throat> the fuck happened, you know what I'm saying? Give their side of the story, which everybody, even your homeboys, is giving their opinion yeah, and shit. Bro. And some of them agree with what that's you did, pressing. and some of you you disagree with what you did. So you want to beef with this dude way across town and take the pressure off of the niggas that's around you that's saying the same shit? Because I know the shit that I be saying, like, because it be so truthful. Like, I know the people around you are saying the same thing. You just mad because I chimed in. I'm just giving my, giving my, you know what I mean? But if you want to beef over it, I ain't tripping. You get what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, everybody's speaking on the shit. The crazy shit is, to me, is just that you could be somewhere like King Yella who was born and raised in this crazy ass environment in Chicago, super fucking dangerous. At a certain point in his life, he says, all right, I'm going to remove myself from this shit. I'm going to move to Vegas and just get away from all this bullshit because realistically, Yella's existence would have had a shelf life if he had just stayed out in Chicago and just kept kicking it on regular ass blocks and shit. And then he's just living his life. Now, again, I don't know what the fuck he's doing in San Bernardino or why he's in some kind of area where there's even people around that are shooting at cars with kids in it and shit like that. But the idea that he could have had something terrible happen to him and his family even after he went so far out of his way to remove himself from the shitty situation that he was born into, 
is just kind of terrifying that it could happen it's, that It's fucked that easy. up because when you try to move forward, it's like people remind you where you really like where you came from. They don't care about what you're trying to do and how you're trying to move forward. They want to bring you back and talk about your past. That's all they know you as. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't ever. It's, it's fucked up because people don't ever leave room for growth for anybody they don't want it for. But yeah. but it sounds and that's like real they shit. They do it. Yeah, you know I know. If yeah, Yellow you know, got I killed know. in Chicago, it would have been because of the gang that he chose to join or that he was born into. If he got killed in this situation, it would have, from what he's saying, it would have been just because he was a black dude in the wrong neighborhood. I can't say that because you could be a civilian walking up the damn street in Chicago and somebody pop you, mistake you Is, for somebody that's else. LA Maybe, too, but it's less though. likely. You know, that's if he got LA killed, it would have been because he's a GD. Whereas in this situation, he's just a black dude running in to take a piss and he left his. Car Car running outside with his kid and his girl in it, like what the fuck are Man, you talking I've, about? I've lived in Chicago yeah. for a little bit. I mean, like it go down. That's yeah. what I was about to it say. It goes down, down. Mm -hmm. Y'all have been through. Y'all have slid through the wild hundreds, niggas, just to get some weed, nigga. This years ago, nigga, come outside, nigga, with a chopper, uh -huh. just to like open the door. Damn, like it's for real, I mean, That shit ain't no no game. That shit is no game. That's how you got. I don't know they like politics, it. but I know them niggas is all the way one hundred percent active. Right and yeah. activated, but that shit happens to you in L.A. It, it so, happens like, to like, you anywhere. Yeah. Like I was saying, like you could be walking somewhere and just fit the description when niggas is on one and you just look like that, and that's who we looking for. Nigga. A nigga popping out. You get what I'm saying? You could be from out of town with just a hat on and no. Well, I was gonna say, I don't or think you could have to be no at, gang. At, at the end of the day. A motherfucker driving through a blood neighborhood to see a nigga with, 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 with black and red on and all this shit or whatever. It could be niggas, some Jordans, a fit. You know it's just a fit. But these little niggas, they, that's what they looking for. You over there. So it's like, shit, all right. You felt comfortable in Paramount? Yeah. You know why. Besides the fact that we went there appropriately? Yeah. Um, yeah. I did. Actually, I did. It's just me being from the hood. You just got to make sure you be on every car. You you see how I was on that. Yo, <laughs> the way I am about bad podcasting is the way that Brig Baby is about bad security <laughs> or bad <laughs> being aware or whatever. Because it's like a car drove by real quick and the guy that you were expecting to be watching over shit didn't look at the car and you were like, Why? how could you not be looking at the car? Like I was like, damn, he really... On it, on yeah. it, on it. Yeah, that's how, cause I, that's how I move. Like, you can't really, like, cause he wants to be involved with what's going on. I understand, but you get what I'm saying. Like, you the security. I didn't. You see, I was on him about eating with his back turned to the fucking door when we was at the motherfucking. I'm like, bro, you. I'm on pro. I mean, I mean, I just got into some shit. I'm trying not to keep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, bro. Why are you not looking this way? Right. You're not going to know what's going on until don't nobody know what's going on. Meanwhile, my boy Tone. Tone was holding it down, right? Yeah. You like that? He's militant. <laughs> That's why I'm like, come on, bro. You're getting out, you getting out dead bad right now. <laughs> nah, that was good, though. Yeah. yeah, but I mean. They both yeah, yeah. played off each other. It seems like he's doing a good yeah, job nah, nah, stuff. Was, You're just really was. trying to yeah. be like on, on every little yeah. last bit. Yeah, just to make sure he is though. It's it's all the better. I had so many security on. over the years that before you knew it, they were risen up a bitch or they were popping an e pill, drinking some lean, yeah, doing whatever. Like and I'm kind of just like, all right, God damn it. <laughs> 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 this ain't gonna work for me in the long run. I'm gonna have to have something happen here because this is just not gonna work. Yeah. I swear to God, that's what I like. Once you see that, like, oh no, 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 no. I don't want to name anybody. Yeah, no, nah, it's cool. I it's had some good. security over the years who, who who weren't keeping me very secure. Yeah, luckily yeah. it was at times in my life where I didn't need to be, to be secure. Be secure apparently, right? <laughs> but yeah, definitely. How do you guys? Uh, how do you guys feel about? Did, did you watch the Drake and uh, Bobby interview? Yeah, I was watching yeah. it this morning. <laughs> that shit was awkward. Like it, it was, was awkward, bro. But that's her thing. No, for is sure. That she does but, the most, the but, most awkward. But what tripped me out was like that Drake Marco was one. just as comfortable to be awkward as well because that's really him. Right. It's yeah. just you know what I'm saying, and that's what made it kind of awkward to yeah. me was because he fit in really good yeah. on the really good podcast. Yeah. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, bro, but, but let's check this out because people are saying that she must be an industry plant. Because, look, her first ever episode was with <clears throat> Rick Glassman, who's like some comedian or some shit. 
Then she had Funny Marco, got 2 million views with him. Then she had Armani White. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, 375K. And then, boom, Drake is her fourth episode. 6.4 million views. And then her fifth episode is Lil Yachty. Now, this would be an implausible come up for nearly everybody in hip hop to go like, I mean, Funny Marco as your second interview, and then Drake as your fourth interview, and then Yachty. I don't know like what kind of what kind of yeah, what kind of <laughs> deal is she signed to? Does she have any help out there besides I mean she has like six hundred K on Instagram. Whoever she is because she's a TikToker, right? She's a big TikToker, right? I, well, she does have a lot of followers on TikTok too. Bobby Althoff she's is a signed, she's but... a social media star with over eighty followers, ha ha, and the host of the Really Good Podcast, a master interviewer with weeks of experience interviewing celebrities. Bobby asks the questions that no one wants to know the answers to. Her toddler called the Really Good Podcast the most listened to podcast in the world. This is not a funny bio. Uh, I would suggest that they rewrite this. But, I mean, it is kind of crazy, right? Because, like, literally everybody in hip-hop would fucking kill to get a Drake interview. Yeah. And then apparently there's something so charming about this awkward little white girl that Drake and Yachty were both down. Funny Marco went for it right away. I, yeah. I, I was a little surprised. You know but it is it's very entertaining, somebody, bro. Huh? She's yeah, she definitely got that scooter Brian or something. It, 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 it's got to be pulling some... these type of fucking tricks right here. It got to be scooter or somebody. God damn it, somebody on his level. She has been fast tracked to the top. Yeah, That's I wonder sure. whose idea it was to be in Drake's bed doing this interview. But I, I, it was like a set that they created. I'm pretty sure because didn't she say that they were in the middle of an arena or some shit at one point? That made me feel like oh maybe they're like backstage at the venue. I don't know, maybe if I misheard that. Was she in Toronto? I think they did it. They did it while he was on tour. Oh. Or no, 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 because no. actually they were talking on it, and they said he said he's about to go on tour. So oh, that yeah. made me feel like, oh, this was recorded like a month ago probably. Well, the set looked very good. Yeah. It looked like one of his rooms. They looked like one it, of his rooms. It might not have been his, his room, but it might have been like a room on the West Wing. If I'm Drake, I am not allowing, so I'm not allowing her into my bedroom to film a scene. Yeah. Were they in Memphis? You wouldn't I'm go to sure. no rooms? I think that they'd probably just find like any old room to set up because Drake doesn't want a bunch of motherfuckers with camera equipment and all this shit setting up in his bedroom. I, I understand that. I think it was probably easily set up somewhere else. I don't know, but like to me, it's like I enjoyed this interview and it yeah. was interesting to see her basically like playing the worst podcaster that you could think of like basically playing like the most annoying person yeah, you could think of yeah. asking questions like how much money do you have yeah. or uh you know like pretending to not know who tyga was and stuff yeah. can, can i get your opinion on that because to me drake was dumping shade on tyga like really i don't know like i haven't seen that much conversation about it but he was he played his defecating <clears throat> I on don't Tiger. feel like he did. I felt like he played his track. He was like, what you mean you never heard of Tiger? All you got to do is watch the part where she's, he goes, what's your favorite Tiger song? Like, like the, He's making a joke out of it. Like he's treating Tyga like a total fucking joke. And then she says, like, are you and Tyga friends? And he goes, yeah, we're cool. Like, as in, <laughs> it's like painting him so much <laughs> to just be like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, we're, we're all right. I, I, I ain't really seen him in eight years. like he was playing her game, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nah. at some point, that, but then um, it's like yes, it's Adam, like he if was it's your boy wrong, you, advocating on him. Listen, no, listen, he no, was not. He was, you're look at, at it. If it's your boy, Tiger needs to seize the moment and do wrong. a Drake diss song right now. You're doing it wrong. I'm gonna man. DM him right now and say, bro, you gotta go in on Drake. You're doing it wrong, bro. So I don't think that. I think you need to watch it again. I watched. He was playing him. Watched it this morning. So I you watched don't it feel, yesterday and this morning. You don't feel like he was he like because if it's your nigga and you in the interview, you kind of got to keep it solid when you bring up. He, but I don't he, think he, it's his man. He, he, he bought up the tiger. He bought up tiger itself. Like, what's your favorite tiger song? Yeah. Well, no. Okay. So, or even when she says, uh, "It didn't tiger date Kylie Jenner?" He goes, "Yeah, maybe before the iPhone came out." It's like, oh man, there, there you go. He's like, yeah, tiger couldn't fuck Kylie Jenner like me, Drake. Yeah. Uh, unless it was that's what I feel 15 like fifteen fucking over. years but ago, yeah, right? You feel like he was trolling it. You feel like this was this man's. He was feelings. trolling. Tyga's existence. He was treating Tyga's uh, existence like a goddamn joke. Give Tyga his W's exposure. for right now. Tyga is currently in a relationship with what's her name, Avril Lavigne. Tyga's still taking W's on a regular basis. I he offended w the entire Mexican community and bounced right back. 
Yeah. He had dope. to delete, delete an entire music video. And and it was dope that Drake would have spoke on me but on this fucking pod that just Drake, went viral. He was interview. talking about him by denigrating him. I encourage everybody watching this to go watch it and give me your opinion down Please, below in the because chat. Because I need to know. To me, it was all I smoke. think you're going to lose this one, bro. Nah. I'm going to be honest. Because it didn't look like Drake was doing the same thing her little funky ass was doing. See, and I watched now, it go down. Now I'm, now I'm mad I didn't watch the whole thing. I went straight to Man, funny Marco. Man, I did. Bro. I'm not gonna lie. It was like kind of weird. On and I, I don't, bro. That's I think you need to watch it again. He played his song. But I, yes, to make fun of it because it's such Rack a goofy City. song. Rack City, bitch. Rack, Rack City. But everybody he was, knows that the song. The way he was playing it was to draw attention to what a fucking funny, silly, knows silly knows song it is. Where the smoke, though, you know where bro. the smoke started, right? The YMCMB days, Young Money. Okay, that's See? where the smoke started. Let's go at. back in time. That's I what like I was that. Just to say, so <clears> what, what was the beef back like then? There's lingering the, feelings the that are was, going on. Like I he mean, was Tiger, 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 Look at this. Let's like Drake, Drake Tiger, Tiger beef. Bro. Tiger was Drake before Drake was Drake. Look at this. I don't you know even know what, what this is. With Lil Wayne, they was they was piggybacking off each other. Mind you, oh yeah, look, they used to have ago. a beef. Look at this. Eight, eight years, years ago. ago, Tiger on Drake. He won't fight me. I don't yeah. even remember the context of this. That's what I'm trying Birdman to tell you. responds to Drake versus Tiger. Says Tiger is in his feelings. Okay. Drake talks about Tiger beef. See, they used to have issues he said like that they, explicitly. He, but Tiger I, feels like he's a way better rapper than Drake, and Wayne just swerved him to fuck with Drake, and they start not fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? So now when he's bringing up the music, that's when I'm like, damn. That's why I'm like, I wish I would have seen it to read it myself because yeah. you saying that you read it, so I can't say. I'm, I'm, but my whole thing was, nigga, Tiger already. Tiger and Drake have smoke over music. Mm. Over Tiger yeah. thinking he's better than Drake in Drake's early years. Oh God! So I, I knew you was gonna pull. I up. wish this I thing had timestamps so I could play that part. <laughs> I knew you was about no, to No, but pull okay. It what up, I bro. will say I is that shit. Bobby, it's Bobby, bitch. Bobby almost certainly got the Tiger song cleared for this upload because otherwise she would be missing out on like a hundred thousand dollars in fucking ad revenue because they played <clears throat> Rack right. City Bitch in this. So I'm right. guessing that Tiger's team cleared it, which if you are a music industry Illuminati being fast tracked into stardom it like Bobby, oh, you which, could probably hey, do, right? So which means Drake knew about it, correct? No, not necessarily. Oh, my God. No, but that's if not how she, it works. She got it cleared, right? He knew about it, though. But what would it Drake have to do with it? He had to get it cleared. The she she's she's part of the, the Illuminati. Drake, she the reached out to the Drake, Illuminati Drake, and saying. said, clear this what Tiger song. Clear the Tiger song. We'll have him on. And or Drake, something. But Drake knew about it because Drake had to pull it up. No. But no, this she he has to clear it. Drake knows about Rack City, after, bitch. After they leave. <laughs> that's that's all he knows. He just knows that's a hard <laughs> song. <laughs> Fuck you. He thought I was calling him a bitch no, for a second. Don't, don't <laughs> don't all right, Rack City, bitch. Fuck. She didn't get Shots it cleared like, until after the show. Oh, fuck what you have up? I said, she didn't get it cleared until after the show. Okay, so yeah, 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 yeah. You do it afterwards. still, okay, but I still go back to my argument. I don't see him. I didn't see him dissing. Or him. alternate reality situation. He's over here picking shit that apart, bro. He's maybe maybe Tiger just shit. hit a lick. Tiger just got yeah. all the money. Tiger and his record label got all the money from this interview. Boom. Off, Tiger he always up. takes the W. Yeah. <laughs> but he ain't never going to do He's an interview. He's in Tiger's corner. I don't think, I, I can't see Tiger doing an hey, interview because when you think Tiger, about it, man. it's just too much I shit that could Drake, happen. I bet you if we talked to Drake, I bet you shout Drake would have said, too. hey, I don't mean, and shout out Drake. Drake would have been like, hey man, I ain't mean no harm. He was like, He's I was gonna gonna say, Yeah, he'll say, I don't mean any harm to Tiger. No, I would never want to offend Tiger. He would say his name funny like the way he was saying. That's the thing about Drake. He could throw shade by just little so he's saying we got beef for Drake right now. With nah, <laughs> nah, no, no, not at all. Nah, 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 nah. Do we have beef with Drake? Of course not. <laughs> I was about to say, do we? I don't know. Honestly, what? Jake why? is 4L, though. That's I'm going to say like, some oh, gay-ass oh, shit. Right. That, 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 that he, interview, he, when you watch he, that, that it's, it's almost kind me. of annoying because it's like Drake is just, he's too good at navigating his way in that yeah. conversation with her. Like, he's funny. He still manages to be charming with her asking all the worst questions you could possibly think of. Yeah. You get to actually see how weird it must be for Drake to be communicating with a normal person because he's, like, congratulating her on having 600,000 followers. And she's like, that's way less followers than you have. And he's he's like, yeah, well, no shit. I'm no a fucking shit. superstar. I'm, a I'm super congratulating star. you on being right. slightly more influential yeah, than yeah. a normal human being yeah, by approximately sure. 600,000 people. Yeah, that goes sure. a long way. He did show her IG some love. He did. He showed her. He was he's like basically that. baiting you to go follow her. Pretty yeah. much. You think that he probably ate her pussy after that? 
Or do you think she maybe ate his man ass. butt man ass? Uh, <laughs> what, what's more no. likely? So Keanu, no. you know I don't think Drake did any of that shit. I could see him smashing. I think this was a. I think this was a power play. Do you think it was a power play for him to try to pop at her? This is like him, this is him shitting on every hip hop interviewer by saying, "Hey, fuck you! I'm going to do an interview with a 19 year old white girl." It sounds know. like he's been uh, following her for a while. Really? Well, yeah. when I was watching her TikTok, I seen a couple of her like her whole thing is just she's just like the most awkward person in the world. Like she'll be yeah. doing like someone else will be dancing real good, and she'll just kind of be like, "I don't know what's going on." Yeah. Oh no! Like what I watched was <laughs> I feel like she kind of pulled a little. That was a little bit of funny Marco in that. I felt like. Yeah. Watching her like it's funny. Marco been doing yeah. that because you know the, scroll, the scroll interviews on, yeah. are taking over the game. Real yeah. conversations are on the Marco, way out. This yeah. platinum platform is done. This platform is not going anywhere because we keep it too real. That's why we got to do all skits yeah. from now on. Every skit. conversation we have just needs to be a pre-planned skit. Sounds about right. I mean, it's the, right. the, the yeah. skit kids yeah. are winning. Yeah, they're winning. They're winning. Bobby's yeah. winning. Yeah, we got to get somebody. In, we got to get somebody in here and just talk them to him. The yeah. next interview, we just gonna be like, uh, no, we, like, you got to feed them the plan beforehand. You. Before you do an interview with someone, say like, hey, listen, halfway through this, I'm gonna dump a jug of lemonade on your head. Yeah, just roll with it. Just That's how we're gonna get our viral moment. Yeah, That's think, just that I was think, just the first thing that came. I about. really feel like Funny Marco set the tone for that. That's just me. That was like when the first I sat there and seen like he's just trolling the entire interview. Mm -hmm. Him and the fucking uh, Orlando Brown one went crazy because mm -hmm. Orlando yeah, Brown did it right back to him, and yeah. then that right. shit just went up, and it was just bro. Go watch Adam Twenty Two and Funny Marco. He was trolling the fuck hey, out no, of me for sure. That <laughs> hey, that one was dope too, though. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, nah, that was some good shit. But okay, so basically Drake's on tour. Drake's doing all this different media stuff. He's he's tapping in with a lot of different people. He did On the Radar, Freestyle. Shout out to my boy Gabe. That's the craziest look okay, imaginable. Drake, 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 the Freestyle. Go ahead, finish with your Combination. Yeah, combination. <laughs> you want, hey, you want chicken or beef? <laughs> combination. Um, but basically, so now you have the hip-hop elder statesman's Take an aim at Drake, either explicitly yeah. or under the table ishly, because of the fact that Drake is not embracing them in the way that they want to. So first, you have Ebro coming out and basically saying that Drake does not do anything to advance black social causes, even though you can go back in time to 2020 when Drake put out a statement about the state of the world and how fucked up racism is and everything, and Ebro actually reposted it at that time and said, thank you, Drake, for making this statement. A, a cynical reading of Ebro's motivations there would be that Ebro is actually just annoyed that Drake won't do anything promotion wise or content wise with his side. That's possible. But then after that, you have uh, uh, Elliot Wilson come yeah. out and make a statement about Drake choosing to do interviews. For those who don't know, Elliot Wilson is basically like the god of hip hop media when I was a youngin, when I was like graduating high school, when I was 17, 18. He took over Double XL. He, he squatted up with G Unit and Eminem and just yeah. absolutely torched the source and, and turned the source into a laughing stock at that time. So, so people like me, we will always look at Elliot Wilson as kind of like the OG of media in hip hop because I never gave a fuck about the editor of a magazine until Elliot Wilson came along and really just showed the art of war and that you could be a, an editor of a magazine and you could absolutely just shit on your ops nonstop and take a, a valuable property like the source and basically like really undermine it. But anyway, so Elliot Wilson makes a statement about Drake not doing interviews with uh, you know established hip hop platforms. Now, Elliot Wilson got a Drake interview like three years ago or two years ago or however long ago that was. So he's realistically one of the last people that I would expect to be making this kind of criticism because Drake did him the favor of a fucking lifetime a couple years ago by doing the Rap Radar podcast, yeah. even though he ended up putting it on his own channel mm. with uh, B-Dot and everything. Mm. And, uh, and Drake had the final editing say it was edited by drake's team so when it's you watch like it that. if there's anything in that edit that seems like oh maybe maybe there was a little bit of an awkward cut here or maybe it seemed like this answer got consolidated or whatever drake had full control over that interview and I've was able to play it the exact way well you've, you've had your just, voice I've, silenced hey, hey, hey I've, we ain't gonna talk about it all right <laughs> fair but, enough 
Hell yeah. Like, when they're strict, like, they have the, like, when they're high-profile celebrities that you get in these interviews with, especially today, bro, mm -hmm. they take the say over how what they want this up. shit put yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's either, like, you're going to respect it. Or you're not going to do the interview. It's, no, not even. They don't give a fuck if you already got it. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. They don't want you to put it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. They, that's how they start picking it apart. Hey, take all this out. Take this out. You don't take that shit out. Well, guess mm. what? Interviews are rap. Yeah, yeah. We ain't got to worry about it and don't put the shit out. Think about it, people. You know who he's talking about. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway. Fuck you, man. So then, uh, so then Drake is scrolling the gram and he yeah. sees an academics post with Elliot Wilson having a conversation backstage at Rolling Loud, which was in Miami over this weekend. Uh, I don't he know. He said he back because he did do a second one. Right, which is kind of wild because, you know, Drake even doing one interview with them is, is a pretty big deal. But anyway, the caption is, Trippy Red speaks on the term selling your soul backstage with Elliot Wilson at Rolling Loud. And Drake hops in the comments. And there's a lot to read into here. And it's also, it's worded kind of strangely, yeah. so it's kind of hard to decode. But LOL, man, shit's on not coming to his platform. What I think he meant was oh, shits on me yeah, for yeah. not coming to his platform for a second time. And now Elliot Ten Toes doing Yes Jewels run-up interviews at Rolling Loud. Just admit that the youth took over Big Dog. So, I mean, it is true that Elliot may have been like the goat of hip-hop media at a certain point, uh, you know, 20 years ago. But his status now, you know, him being someone who's been in the game for so long... This to me raises the question is like, is there a cutoff where it's no longer cool for you to be hanging out backstage at festivals trying to get interviews? Because I've done it. I do like you can't do this type of interview of hanging out backstage <laughs> doing interviews. You can't do it for long without starting to feel kind of dehumanized because <laughs> you're just sort of like waiting around. They're coming off stage. They're sweaty. They don't want to talk. You're trying to get, you know, five minutes of conversation. And on one hand, you could get conversations with people. Like, I don't think Elliot was going to get a, a sit down trippy red podcast at this point, realistically, no. maybe. And, and that's probably not the biggest superstar that you talk to throughout the weekend, but Trippy's huge. Trippy's the fact, the fact that, that yeah, right, no, yeah, Trippy's big and everything. Trip's huge. But, but that, that's the question is like, because he's basically saying like Elliot is doing what Yes Jules does because she does sort of like backstage coverage type shit at yeah. Rolling Loud. Yeah. You've done it in recent yeah. memory. I sometimes watch other people do it and I feel like fuck, like I want to be back in the field sort of fighting to have conversations with people backstage because it is a way for you to get a shitload of good though. content in you a short period of time. Have, you don't even have to do that. They feel your vibe, bro. Yeah. They feel your energy. That's how I got all them type of interviews, yeah. bro, back there was just they feel your vibe. They see yeah. you. They see a smile on your face. They see you happy to be there and they feed off that. that was Instead VT of that you make them your friend. That was, no, that was, I'm done rolling oh, loud you did like rolling that. Loud too? I'm done oh, yeah, rolling yeah, loud yeah, like yeah, that. And yeah. everybody just gravitated, man. Just Fucking with it, just fucking with the energy, fucking with the vibe, you know, not making it seem like it's work for them. Do you mm. think the location? You don't make a lot of people like backstage are rolling loud. It seems like they're just doing they're their job, it and it's like work. It yeah. makes for dreadful content, and that's yeah. why these dudes don't want to do it. But like, yeah. and also, all right, if you're gonna shit on Elliot for doing this kind of content, you got to shit on Nardwar. And because yeah. Nardwar does the same thing, but Nardwar, Nardwar, think about it in recent memory, has got a little dark Uzi. He he, he almost shit. got Cardi. Like you know, there's still a lot of good work that you can do if you go into these environments and these artists respect you. Yeah. Now, Lil Durk might not have pulled up to do an hour long podcast with Nardwar, but if he catches Nardwar backstage at Rolling Loud, he might be down to, or I think it was a uh, Summer Smash, he might be down to sit down and and do a, you know a 10 minute interview with him that's that's a little bit less of a of a reach for him yeah. but man it's kind of crazy that that Drake is throwing Yes Jules' name in the mix again because Yes Jules I, I feel like she's having a little bit of a comeback and I'm not 100% sure why but when you look at her her Twitter and shit her pictures of herself are getting like way more engagement and stuff and it feels like people are fucking with her again whereas like when she kind of got like canceled out of the game in like 2017 or whatever that was it sort of felt like people just hated her so much that there was just no coming back from it. But now it's starting to feel like she got like a wave going again. I definitely was in jail when she got shitted on. Oh yeah. You don't remember any of yeah, this? Yeah. I don't, I, I remember yes, Jules from before I went to jail, but I didn't know she got canceled. Yeah. You don't remember But I this? never, I haven't been seeing content from her either. Though. Basically there was a t-shirt that said N words lie a lot. Like with an A soft A N word. Whoa. And somebody sent her, 
it in an email and basically it was like, hey, would you like this shirt so that you can wear it to Rolling Loud? And she tweeted a picture of the shirt and said like, LOL, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to wear this or some shit like clown in the shirt. But, you know, the angry black women on Twitter wow. did not take it as her clown in the shirt. They took it as a sincere, enthusiastic appreciation of this shirt. And that just created this just bombardment of hate which is it's almost kind of hard to imagine now although i mean there was like there was something about yes jules when she came in the game where she was just having too much fun she was too white and people just wanted her out you yeah. know they just were fucking angry as fuck and now i feel like maybe the racial tension has eased up a little bit so people are, are fucking with her again or maybe she just found like a, a different hip-hop fan base yeah, a little but bit but either way drake taking shots at her like this i'm sure they haven't spoke or communicated in an extremely <laughs> long time i don't know I, as, a, as a media dude, dude I couldn't too. believe this when I saw it. Yeah. Because not only is Drake kind of setting the standards for how a media personality is allowed to go get their content, like he has now declared you lame if you're running around backstage or rolling loud trying to get some interviews. But, well, I mean, really, he's declaring he's Elliot Wilson lame for it because he's yeah. older, you know? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. He's older and. He already had something against him, but he's like, you're yeah. this dude with this big platform supposedly in the podcast world that yeah. nobody gives hey, back here a fuck back about now. So now you're doing the young people. Makes sense. You're doing the same thing the young people do. Because think about it. If this was me backstage doing the interview with Trippy Red, people would be clowning me a little bit saying, hey, you 39, you almost 40. You shouldn't be running around doing this kind of nah, content, right? I like a, like so maybe a little bit. Nah. Just be but honest. Elliot's like 10 years older than me. How old is Elliot? Because, so I feel like it's maybe a little bit more of a valid critique. Do you feel like it really has something to do with the 52. age? 52. He's fucking 13 years older than me. He should be getting respect for his legs working good enough to even be standing backstage or rolling loud for all those hours. I don't know. Maybe got like a director's chair yeah, or something. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I just think it's interesting because this is like a type of content that we used to do a lot of and we haven't really done it in recent years. But we be outside like functioning. Like we ain't just sitting there. Hey, Trip, can we get it? Yeah. Like, we out there like, hey. I just come to through. Home, like, what you got to do? I just come through, like, man, what it do? They see the mic, they know what time it, it is. Yeah. But I keep their eyes off that, and they're more engaged with what I'm mm. saying. So we'll just throw you in a trance. But see, that is a good yeah, idea, though, is for us to be backstage <laughs> rolling loud doing this kind of content, but, like, as a group. Yeah. But then I love rolling one loud. of the problems at backstage rolling loud is that the sound is going to be fucked because it's, yeah. like, usually you can hear the fucking festival yeah. like crazy. So having, like, multiple dif different people on mics, it might be a they little challenge. They moved the press pit far away, far enough away, I feel. Do they? Yeah, because the press pit was nowhere near. Like, you had to mm. really take a hike to get over to the stage. So where were you hanging out by? I was in the press pit. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? The whole time I was over there. So, but like, if an artist wants to go to the press pit, they have to go kind of out of the way. It's not like right by their trailer. It's not, no, it's by the the trailers are all away from the stage. Everything, right. the trailer, the press pit, all the way from the stage. Because I remember yeah. one year uh, in L.A. when they did Rolling Loud <laughs> in maybe like 2020 or some shit that they didn't even have, like there was no backstage trailers or whatever. Like they carted the artist in. And then they carted you out, and if was you it, wanted to stay there, the you had Coliseum to go get a you had to go get a table. It was at the in the club though, thing, right? the Rolling Loud Club. I'm not even sure. I didn't go. I just remember House Phone and AD went. Yeah, they were telling me what say, it was like. Yeah, that's that's uh, what you call it. That's probably it. Was at the Coliseum still? Like, on yeah, King. this shit was. They cool. got the SoFi so now. You got all of these places that's built for venues. Also, when they're mm. building these places, like it's not just an arena. Like the, some the, places. The you know greatest experience about? I ever had doing festival coverage, though, was mm -hmm. when I went to the Wireless Festival in 2019 in London, and I got the Young Thug interview back there. Mm. I got a really good Juice World thing. I got, like, a Denzel mm. Curry thing. So, But it, the reason why is because even Young Thug, yeah, you're the biggest fucking star in the world, he had, like, the equivalent of, like, a shed, like a little-ass yeah. box house that was, yeah. like, maybe you could sit down. Maybe you and, like, three of your homies could sit yeah. down and it would be comfortable, but it wasn't anything you know and that's young thug even the biggest stars i think there was like some headliners who who weren't kicking it backstage they were just sort of like coming in and then getting shipped out of there but like we got so much dope coverage and then i remember i went and i did like american festival coverage backstage after that and it was so much worse because they don't just let the artists just kick it like yeah, that they because be they're like gonna end up beating the shit out of each yeah, other or whatever yeah. but like even being overseas an american seeing another american at their cool with it's like oh yeah i'm fucking with him real quick like yeah. you know what i'm saying because you with all these people talking with accents or you know what i mean or that you like different cultures so you mm -hmm. see somebody like oh shit 
I'd rather spend my next 10 to 15 minutes talking with him right. Right. than right. To keep having these people because I'm getting interviewed <clears throat> regardless. You think these people, I come with a smaller entourage because I'm overseas, obviously. I'm not traveling mm-hmm. 100 deep. You know what I mean? And now you guys are bum rushing us, asking us questions left and right. We trying to close the door. I guess part of it was that there wasn't many people doing coverage backstage during that too. So it's like somebody like Young Thug, like I might have been like the only opportunity that he had to do an interview. It's not like there was like two other people waiting in line before me or or whatever. But I also was like, it was a full tap in from Juice World. Juice World told him like, this is my boy Adam. You should fuck with him. I just don't see you getting any type of backlash for that, bro. Being back there. Like people gonna want to see you with these people because you fucking be on some bullshit and everybody love that. So they're gonna love to see him interact with somebody like Trip. I just gotta make sure my security can beat up their security. You know, on, bro. That's o- it. otherwise it could, it could get a little <laughs> ugly. Hey, you know what I wanted to bring up? So you, you have some insider information about Quavo getting robbed on this boat? Man. Uh, I do. Quavo didn't get it. <laughs> he had to think about it. He yeah, had to run I it through his hood nah, filter. Smart, though, Can bro, I speak bro, on I, this? I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I kind of, like, I, Quavo didn't yeah. get robbed. Right. So, but, sure. but it was reported that he was. He said that amongst he, got, others, he was but amongst it, he amongst was amongst others, people that amongst got others. Out. So, so he didn't get Quavo robbed. got all his jury. I okay. can tell you that much. And they straight. I don't know. I, I guess somebody, I, I, I don't know the rest of the shit because I don't know. Was it somebody like, hey, I'm going to rob all y'all? And then he's like, oh, Quavo, I love Versace. I'm not going to rob you. And then continues to the next person that robs them. You got like a rapper pass? I think that they took the word robbery and blew it out of proportion, honestly. Really? Yeah. It'll probably come out in a couple of days that was going but on. But it's news for now, right? Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. Shit like, be, like, but it's news the streets for now. are talking to him. He just don't want to be the crazy. one to air it out. Yeah, Fuck. because the thing is, the thing is, like, it's it's a case, right? Pending. Is it? I don't know. Like, whoever arrived, you know what I mean? I just don't want to be the person that be like, oh, this is what happened. Da, 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 because. Obviously, it's my boys and them that call that I talk to. You know what I mean? Your boys were the robbers? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, your boys were Quavo. Fuck. I hate this nigga. I hate this nigga. <laughs> I hate this nigga. Hey, hey, right now. Whoever I called is my mans. Oh. And then I can't really, because I didn't call him on that. They just happened to go there. You get what Ooh. I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? And it's just that. Okay. So Quavo walked away with all his jewels. Yeah. Period. But they no say jumper the, exclusive. They say in the ah, <laughs> look, I hate this dude. Look, uh, look. So basically, Quavo was in the in the shit detained though. They had Quavo detained. They thought he was the robber. Yeah, didn't they in the in the footage? They had him like zip tied up. So I don't know what went on, but obviously they was like. Something was wrong with maybe with Quavo was like trying to get it. some money. Figured he would rob some people on this boat. <laughs> yeah, mm. I mean, make a little extra bread for the weekend, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, it already feels like old news, but what, what's your track review of Kodak and Six Nine? You feeling this joint? I'm gonna be real with you. I am not. I'm not. Not because of the politics. It's just sonically. Oh um, no! I don't it like doesn't the track. strike me as a song that I'm gonna be hearing a lot more. From here, I don't know if I think it was worth the million well, dollars. I think it's just well, it's got its money back just because of all the bullshit that landed around it. So I feel like it made money regardless. I seen you some meme page so, posts saying that it got 190 thousand streams over the since it came out, and that that is equal to like 800 dollars. Yeah. So that leaves a pretty large amount to still be compensated out of the million dollars that they allegedly sure. spent on the Kodak they thing. They did no Plus, millions of streams the first night. They said it had 200,000 streams or, or less when than that. What was that? That was, I seen it co- going up on meme pages today. Now, I do not trust the meme pages, uh, and yeah, I could have totally yeah, imagine yeah, them yeah. spinning a narrative can that we, doesn't make any sense. How many days has a song been out? Can we can we look up streams today? Yeah, we got Spotify right here. We can look <laughs> it up. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. Spotify, yeah, though. We can't look up. Oh, he's going to have to drag it onto drag the it screen over. here. Okay. Now, the crazy thing about it is just that I knew uh, it's so hard for me to keep up on the Latin beef. Like I could keep up on the GDs and the BDs, but I'm not really. <laughs> Bet you fucking can. Right? I can. It's, it's <laughs> I think I'm capable. Not, bro. How do you actually view the plays? I never look at this shit. It's got to be at the top. It got to be like the top three songs on their shit. Yeah, but it's like, look, it's right here. 
but I don't see the number. Of... Go to six nine. Just go to his page. Oh, okay. Just like him. I gotta, I gotta click on his name. Yeah. Aha. But look, it's not. It's not there yet. It's not in the top. Wait, but is this it? No, that's not it. No. Nope. See more. Where is it? Yo, they playing with my boy Daniel Whoa. Hernandez right now. They're not trying to show it in the, in the <laughs> top. They playing with my boy Daniel. Yeah. What's going this on? It's a nut, bro. What the fuck is I'm wrong saying, though, like, it's, it's not. I, I will nut, admit bro. I'm not the That's most fluent that. Spotify person on earth. I mean, this is the song. We're not going to play it, but. It doesn't. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, Hair plays one point one million. So that's significantly more than they were saying. That's on, only like five, six bands, though. That's only six bands. Yeah. Damn. I mean, I'm sure co- that he's not trying to like recoup day one or anything, right? No, 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 no. no not this, day is all this is all long term brand five, building. This, this is, is all long term six nine trying to normalize himself within hip hop and show so that he, he can do songs. The L just I'm sure there's it. always more numbers on the back end too, though. I this mean, is just on the front surface. This you know what Spotify, I'm maybe. This maybe. Spotify, I mean, you got to put right. all the other streams. I, I don't really like understand Spotify. But and then in his defense, most rappers. Like Kodak Black fans are on Apple Music. You think? Hell yeah. Why? Because isn't it more? It comes expensive? with the phone. Nobody's ordering Spotify. No, and Spotify too. has the free tier. I understand. There's that, more users of Spotify than Apple Music. You can't even listen to the songs you want to on Spotify free. He has 11.4 million it's monthly like, listeners. Is that a lot? Is that pretty good? That's all right. I mean, I assume it's pretty high. That's all right. Him and I mean, young, Drake got him and Young Nudie got the same. Young Nudie has this. Shut the fuck up. Young Nudie. Does he have an O in the young? I can't remember. Young Nudie be going, though. 9.9. You're damn near right. Only a little bit more. That's That's crazy. Young Nudie be slapping. What's Drake at? 70 million. million. (laughs) Look, Remo knows off the top of his head. He's such a fan. Holy shit. Man, see, I don't know. I, I never pay attention. That's I look crazy, at YouTube right? views and nothing hey, else. Hey, Remo, you be drinking and driving. <laughs> 21. Drinking and 20. driving up. <laughs> yeah, 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 drinking yeah. and driving. That's <laughs> what I like. Nudie got like a cult fan base. Nudie really yeah, got Nudie, like, 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 like I'm like it. It is pretty crazy how, I, how serious his numbers are. Yeah. As I, somebody who makes such like uncompromising music, he doesn't do anything to like appeal to a wider audience. Nope. It's just straight, just straight killing there. people yeah, and yeah, just yeah, shitting yeah, on his yeah, ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drive bys and drinking lean, and he just people go crazy for I it. That, I want to get that Rilo dude up here. Yeah, yeah Rilo Rodriguez. Rilo, he, be yeah, you What's finally made that cut, my boy. You up there? You yeah, there? He, he I got swam up in his DMs plenty of times trying to get him on here. He didn't respond to me. Yeah, Rilo. That made me realize <laughs> I, don't, I don't got enough credentials. <laughs> we might, we might can make that happen. Yeah. I need to connect. Yeah, I gotta connect. Yeah, Rilo, connect at the direct connect. I'm gonna be honest, bro. The dude, uh, Lucky. I ain't like his new album, bro. Who? I think his name's Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. I was I arguing like with Lucky the other album, day. Me, me and Lucky were getting into it in the DMs the other day because he was pissed off at me about the Ruga thing. All of a sudden, me and him are having no this long yeah. ass conversation, and I and I had just listened to his album the day before that. And yeah, like I fuck with Lucky as a person. But I also don't really understand his music that his much. His new like, album is not okay. I want to interview him, and I like him as a person and everything. It's just to me, it's a little mumbly. It's a little like I, I, I was never lot. into the whole mumble rap no. conversation. But to me, it's, it's just so a little overly done, bro. Like yeah. the entire album, I found one song on there that I was like, all right, but it was the whole album is just him just on a ramble and no diss to him like I got nothing but I got nothing but love for him yeah would love to interview him would love to sit down with him cause I know he, I just hope he come out with something he gotta come out with another another <laughs> banger man he gotta come out with something but he's what's huge what's he looking like on Spotify 5.2 million monthly listeners like he's not fucking around his shit is huge yeah what? he's going crazy sex but money drugs that new album I just look he got multiple songs like 8 million plays 3.5 million so you got a see Remo's million. a big fan over there I can't cap. It's just, I feel yeah, like I've been drink. out of Xanax world for so long that to me, when I listen to someone, so, you know I, I'm not saying Zan, he's a Xanax you know, or nothing, but you know your tongue lean, to whatever it is. It's just, it's hard for me to relate to like the super drugged out music sometimes yeah. when I just am not in that mind state. Although when I was kicking it with Brick Baby yesterday, yeah, got a little visit yeah. from Mr. Norco. Uh, Mr. All of a sudden Nor-Kizzy. I'm sitting on the couch at home just feeling a little Flat. too happy. Yeah. Not a thought in my brain. I'm just yeah. sort of like all mushy. Yeah. Just blah, blah, I'm blah. curious. Look, I can't do this no more. I'm curious. Yeah. What did uh, the pink tape do? The pink tape? Yeah, it was your work. Did, I mean. I want to see what his joint did. I'm not 100%. Sure. Did you catch yourself talking a lot? 
talking a lot. Eating, Caught myself man. eating a lot. <laughs> I walked in the He's house. Going crazy. All right, this is the pink tape. I mean, look, the, fir- the first song has 32 million he plays. Crazy for this 16, 20, 10 lie. million on a lot of this he shit. Went crazy. I just want to rock has half a billion. That's what I'm wild. saying. <laughs> oh, that's on the album? Yeah, and, yeah, then, and, the big tape and then this motherfucker so you know has the nerve the to come out and say that this was just an experimental tape. That yeah, he was just, he's he was just with... fucking around. The real album's coming soon. All yeah. right, no, but listen, listen to this, though, too. So your single, your lead single on the tape has a lot to do with your sales. You know they True. add those streams in with your album sales. Mm-hmm. So if I just want to rock his own there, that alone is reaching the stream. You get what I'm saying? All the other shit had to do was follow up because he sold like 100 something K, right? And fuck you yeah. mean by the greatest street rapper of all time, Gunna, the greatest drip the greatest rapper of all time, of all the time. greatest perk popping rapper of all time, the sold Gunna, out, the sold out show. Taking over the game. The sales are insane for <laughs> fuck you mean. All lowercase. F-U-K-U-M-E-A-N. No spaces. That's drip right there. It's when you do drip. no spaces, all lowercase. Are you lowercase. sliding? I will slide for Gunna. Are you sliding? No, I'm saying, have you been sliding to the fucking new album? A little bit. I hear he that, I hear that fucking song on TikTok what? every day. I do be yeah. listening to it. Yeah. 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 I'll slide for Gunna. Oh, yeah. I'll slide for Gunna for sure. That was not even Just call me no, in, Gunna. That, bro. Hey, hey, that's my little Brick. bro. So if you go slide for <laughs> no, that's cool, like, he, he just he jumped on it like, man. Man. I'll slide. Like, you know I'm doing whatever to be cool with the gangster dudes, man. I'm sliding for Gunna. Listen. Sliding for Gunna. Hey, Gunna, come to Paramount. Me, you, Swifty Blue. We're going to film a video. Go outside, right? Next Gunner Project, the only feature is Swifty Blue. Yeah. Executive produced by Adam 22. No bat. That sounds like no bat. No bat. No (laughs) bat. I hate him. They didn't fix the AC yet? Hey, they say Gunner. They say Gunner. They say Gunner having sold out dates, man. Yeah, no, yeah, he sold out his L.A. show. I was saying that we should go, too. We're going to have to That's wiggle and jiggle if we want to get gonna, some tickets. Yeah, we're definitely going. Yeah, you think you, you, you'll be backstage at the Gunner show? Ah, they're going to annex you off the hood. <laughs> you get an an off, said, uh, annex uh, off the block if you were backstage there. Nah. Hell up. no, thug going to unfollow you. <laughs> it's over. Nah, they, they wouldn't. It wouldn't be like that, but I, I, I ain't really, you know what I mean? When I holla at my people, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of the homies up there, probably, mm-hmm. probably trying to figure out what's going on. Everybody, just, you think everybody's yeah, gonna be man. trying to politic backstage? Nah, nah, Gunna nah, ain't nah, having nah, it. Nah, Gunna's nah, gonna nah, have nah, his nah. team That's keep that shit sealed off. They probably won't even but let you backstage. Everybody, everybody, gonna let everybody, nobody they're backstage. not gonna let nobody backstage. Hell no. Nah. But what I'm saying Hell is, nah. there's probably gonna be a couple people up there. You know what I'm saying? Check it on him and shit. Not on no, not. That's what I'm saying. Like anything I say gets blown out of proportion. So I don't even really want to say. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, nigga. Give him some fuel. Yeah, give him some fuel. Like Throw it said, on a meme gonna page. Be, it's going to be people checking on him. He still got people that, that, that fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter what the situation is, I mean, you see it with other entities. You get what I'm saying? But the thing is, uh, the cop and the plea versus the snitching. That's mm-hmm. just where, that's Speaking where of thug, everything. What thug sales do? I wonder where he's at right now. On his, on his latest I album. only pay attention to the first week. Yeah, the first week he did. He did 85. Right. They were like yeah, equal. But they, then the Gunna song, Fuck You Mean, is way more popular than any of the songs off the Thug Tape. Take it how you want to take it. I feel like. <laughs> huh? That Gunna song is top 10. <laughs> All from that. Uh uh-huh. huh. What is it? Am I saying it wrong? I already forgot how it went. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but, look, but that song is mad TikToked out. That's like, what I was just, about to say. It you has that it weird little that catchy period. thing, you know. But 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 at the end of the day, that's where where some people are like standing. But it's like if you fuck with Thug, you fuck with Thug. You mm. get what I'm saying? And you got to just ride with whatever word that Thug riding on because the loyalty is who the loyalty is to, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, gonna cop the plea. He didn't give any information, further information on the case. Mm-hmm. Like he's really one of those. It's like an edge it's case. Like, yeah, yeah. Like it's 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 a wobbler. The only thing is, it's a wobbler. Yeah, it's a wobbler for sure. <laughs> I forgot about that word. <laughs> so he's uh hasn't made any statements. Mm-hmm. 
to the police. Like his interrogation doesn't say he snitched. He doesn't do this, da, da, da. but he said answers one question in the defense's favor. Mm -hmm. So, and you know that these people are fighting gang allegations or whatever it is. It's like, you should have set it out and they knew you had nothing to do with it from the get go. You I will be backstage. A longer. I will be backstage at the gunner show just to see who else is backstage at the gunner show. Is that it's what, like, so you're going to interview wow, the bro. people that's, that's back there? How could you, gonna... how could you support this? That's the kind of interview. I'm going to be like but Bobby. But you're a Asking the most fucked up you're questions. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. Gunner needs to tap in with the No Jumper they're gonna, they're Crips. We will gonna, protect they, him out yeah. here. You're going to need a friend in these L.A. streets, Gunner. Bro, you're I'm just saying, yeah. man. Crazy, be going going crazy, crazy, I'm just saying. Bro. Tap in with me. Nigga tap church. in with I'll the keep, No I'll, Jumper I'll take good care of you, man. Listen. Fuck you mean. Fuck you mean. If I say it and I throw my arms back, how's that? Yeah. That shit look goofy as fuck. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you to it. It look like you doing the bird. It look like yeah. you doing like some exercise they teach old people to do. Yeah, when they're they're just, on, you on the playground like, where they got the, the workout equipment, but there's no resistance. Yeah. So it's like a bike and you just spin your legs. You're like, oh, I can you do this it. for like 18 years and I might burn like 100 calories. Act like you slam dunking. Yeah. <laughs> fuck you, me. Make you a gif of me. <laughs> Man. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I, my my final say is that I don't know the six nine and Kodak song. Like, like I think I even said to Wack, I'm like, is there anything in the paperwork or the contract? I don't know if I said this on camera or off camera that prohibits Kodak from basically dissing him after the fact and making a joke out of the fact that he did the verse, which is exactly what happened because the song comes out and then they reveal that there was an additional lyric on the song that got removed, exactly. which might explain why when you're listening to the song. It's, it's a 12. Yeah, it's a 12. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah, a 16. Yeah, yeah. They a said 16, it's like a 14. A 16 is short. Like, Wait, is it really? It's a 14. That's why it's kind of off. It's Wax said it in. was a 12, but if it was a 14, that it's makes even 14, more sense. right? It's 14 bars? Well, we can't expect That's, Remo to Flacco, count bars. No, we talked about it. Really? It was like, it was like 14 bars. He's counting bars. Yeah. Um, get on Rap Genius and count, count how many bars it was. But, <laughs> yo, that's kind of crazy right there of, like, he didn't. He couldn't even put the entire verse on there. He had yeah, to take, he take said, a bar or two off. <laughs> That's that, hilarious. That, and they That's say that crazy. they said that his engineer didn't take the, the bars off. They said exactly that, that six nine engineer. Which took that's it. interesting because that means that in this whole scenario, six nine did not even have enough leverage to say, "Hey, can you fix that part of the verse?" Yeah, no. It was like, "No, nah, we're out. just gonna cut that yeah, off of yeah, the verse." Yeah, yeah, which is kind of wild. So he knew they wasn't cool anyway. And then you heard the song before y'all shot the video. So then you shoot the video mm. knowing that this nigga <laughs> said this. That's fucking wild. That is so crazy when you really he, think about it. He's so fake. Like, you know this nigga was clowning you on this song, bro. Because the actual W for 6 9 would be if he did a song with a legit rapper like Kodak. And that Kodak was supporting him. actually, like, really seemed like he was, you know, really standing behind him, which this is just not that. Yeah, he my nigga he, he disses him in the first line him. of the song and calls him for a snitch. Sure. You know, it's, yeah, it's not know. like this song, <laughs> it's not like this helps take him past the snitch shit. If anything, it, it just kind of like doubles down on that whole thing. I mean, Wack did confirm that it was supposed to be Youngboy at a certain point. I'm not sure who jumped in between that and, and, and didn't let Youngboy do it yeah. or if Youngboy just changed his mind about working with him. Because I'm still waiting to see what artists would like really genuinely enthusiastically support him i've always said that i think six nine would be wise to start like a rock career i think he should get a band and he should go on Ozfest, and he should just be like the fucking lead singer of that kind of shit apparently he wants to do latin music because it's a bigger that's audience, what i was about to say which that's also makes sense. Yeah, i was about yeah, to say yeah. he, he figured it out a little <clears throat> bit but if you go back to six nine in like 2016 or whenever before he popped off he was doing shit that was all rock sounding ass shit. And yeah. like, so he definitely has a taste for that, like Zillikami and yeah. all them. Yeah. That was his shit for a certain period of time. But can you just infiltrate that culture? MGK did it. Just a random ass yeah. white rapper who decided he wanted did to make pop punk songs. Over there, he does stupid he numbers. He does stupid huge. numbers. Huge. He's huge. Stupid numbers. Now, granted, oh, wow. the, the, the elder statesman, the older clientele within the rock world, they might consider him to be a bit of a joke. Like a poser, right? But you know, like the young ass, like girls and stuff who just love pop punk. Yeah. They're loving it. And I'm, I'm yeah. not sure. And he takes his shirt off. Fuck it. He's hot. Yeah, nah, he'd be wearing like some weird ass furry outfits and shit. Yeah, I like, see the, I man, see he's outfits. wild with it. Yeah, he's in the matrix. He's he wearing belly shirts and shit. Yeah, he wild. Yeah, he a wild boy. Yeah, he told you he that wild. off the rip. Do you see him at the at the county fair? He went no. to he went to the fair 
with Megan Fox, right? His extremely oh, yeah. attractive, famous, uh, yeah. girlfriend, not wife, wife. girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they're there, and he has a big-ass security guard with him. Mm -hmm. But they get off of the Ferris wheel, and there's a couple of jabronis standing in line for the Ferris wheel or whatever, <laughs> you know? I don't know. Maybe they're jabronis. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're cool. But one of them <laughs> says, like, he says some shit like, oh, my God, Megan Fox, you are so beautiful, just fully fanned out. So MGK just, bow, just cracks him in the fucking face. Yeah. To me, that's bugged out. Like, you, like that's, if you got a how fan. How much coke are you or ketamine? That's, that's, what I'm that's, that's, that's like a weird wild. thing to like, say, right? It's the ketamine or yeah. something. Like, he was so Ferris high. Man, he said, his eye. <sighs> Listen, <laughs> if, you are, if you are dating a Megan Fox, I mean, you're just going to have to listen to people say shit how. like that. They yeah. yeah like, if, come on. if you ain't. You trying to get my bitch, I don't want her, man. You know what I'm saying? I want you to drool when my bitch walk by. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if, you, if you're going to have a high-quality bitch like that, then you're going to have bro. to deal with people saying crazy shit. And that's why you have security is so that you can just kind of walk if away from the situation. If they're not trying to touch her or grab her and Now you're catching that, a lawsuit like said, fucking yeah. around. Oh, he definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you're catching yeah. a lawsuit being done. Yeah, that's like too That's mil. ignorant. But see, then the crazy-ass part about it is that the big ass security guard who's legitimately like a fucking 350 pound black dude who looks like he was a quarterback. He like the only thing you see in the clip, you don't see MGK punch uh, the dude. You just see the dude slam Megan Fox into a fucking like guardrail, like a metal barrier. Like it looks like he's attempting to beat the shit out of Megan Fox. I'm not going to play it, but I encourage everybody else to go check this shit out. It is a crazy <laughs> ass clip. Who slammed it? The security guard. Wow. Like, he was trying to grab the dude that MGK had just hit. Oh, but he And instead, he up. fucking body slams Megan Fox into this metal railing. Who knows? Probably gave her scoliosis, popped a vertebrae out oh, or some wow. shit. It's crazy. Oh, shit. It's what not easy fuck? being white at the fair, brother. <laughs> the fuck? That shit crazy. All at a country fair. They probably had to travel pretty damn far to get to the OC fair, too, right? I wonder what the fuck. <clears throat> damn. That's, that's crazy. That's I wonder, wild. did they ever say, like, she was hurt over yeah, there? Yeah, she, shit? she did it, They look, didn't announce did it. it. Did, was it crazier than what it sounds coming out your mouth? Because today you're on a good one. I'm going to yeah. show you. <laughs> you, know what I mean? you think I'm on such yeah, a yeah, good one? I'm exaggerating? Yeah, he's on a good one. I'm going to show you. I'm going to Right, MGK <laughs> Fair Megan Fox. Yeah, look, look at this. We don't even need to show this on the screen. I'm gonna just show y'all. People at home, if you want to check this out, just go look it up. All right. Oh yeah, actually. Oh, see, look. The dude tried to swing at MGK, but I think he had just punched him before that. Oh, see, I didn't see this full clip. I only saw a Megan, shortened version. Yeah, Yo, Megan and look Fox at this motherfucker taking a selfie. <laughs> Oh my lord, look at this. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go to the TMZ website. Oh, look, he just punches that dude in the face. The other dude oh, swings other dude on him. Swing back on him. Bro, imagine getting into a fight. Like, he says, he says, he says, he says, No, no, watch, watch how hard he hits lying, him. Watch, 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 watch. Look. Wait, what? Why watch, watch, watch. I think I've seen this shit early in the morning, so I didn't, I didn't fully consume it the right way. Look at, look at this big MGK ass dude. MGK gets socked. He didn't even he hit him. Oh, yeah, well, fuck it. We got to the end. Bullshit, <laughs> you on some bullshit today, bro. Nah, that, Talk about Scully Young. I feel like I described it pretty well. Some bullshit. Like, what the fuck, bro? Hey, what is he doing? He hit it pretty good. Look, 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 look. look, look. We're going to watch it one more time. Look it. She might have scoliosis. Watch how she gets jammed up here. Oh, no, nah, he didn't do shit to her. Never mind. I'm lying. Yeah. I completely, I completely misrepresented it. Yeah. Sometimes I think I watch clips on the internet early in the morning and they, they just... MGK was on a fuckload of coke or something, bro. He missed the hey. whole punch. Hey, he backed I up mean, when the my boy swung MGK, back at him. Said, no, yeah. You notice it? He tapped he back up. Like, bro, it can't be oh, easy to <laughs> fight when he was wearing a... It was basically a belly shirt. He was basically rocking a belly shirt. You talking about uh, MGK? Yeah, yeah like, that, your, that, your shirt is like above your belt. That's rocks. Star. You fuck with that? No. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, but if I was a rock star, I would have leather pants that showed my dick print well, and fucking belly tops on. But that's what I'm saying, bro. You have to be able, <laughs> like, you have to be you able to make We're millions of dollars and end up dating an internationally recognized superstar and still not dress like a redacted. That's all I'm saying. I'm not even going to say the word. You ain't going to make a clip out of me. But I'm just saying, like, resist that. 
I, I just, you know, I think people would respect it more. He was a rapper more. first, right? But that's the thing is you get, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you get, saying, you but get rich and famous. Actually, no, because he was he came out as a rapper first. That's what I say. He was a rapper first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's, that's what I'm what just saying, bro. Like, you can't. You can't go all the way. You can't go with every single outfit that your stylist puts in front of you. And there's other people I see, too, where I'm just like, bro, this is too zesty. And like, you, you can't know, just be half, looking like this. Half of their stylists are zest fest. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like 75%. You can be around the most gangster rapper in the world and, and you then, realize that their stylist, stylist is Zest Fest <laughs> AF. <laughs> and you're just like, damn, you really went to the Zest Fest. You, you got really, zesty. Yeah. You, put, you, you got some zesty soap under your arms and everything. They always, it's like, if I, if, if I ever get a dressing budget, it'll probably be one of them. They'll too. have you they dressing zesty and because nah, 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 you get nah, so nah, used nah, to seeing nah, all these nah, belly nah, shirts nah. that eventually you're going to pick one out. I'm not picking a belly shirt. I'm nah. not showing nipple. I'm not doing the see-through uh, wife beater at all. You know, the little uh, well, jersey. Well, the option nipple. is always there. Yeah. It's know, right there for you to yeah, grab uh, uh, grab holes. Do that with the Rick Owens, like everybody oh, else. Oh, man. Gotta yeah, go yeah, get yeah. My no, Rickies. you 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 start really getting to the money. We're gonna be seeing Brick Baby with the big ass boots. You know, you, you see like people ever. rocking a Rick yeah, Owens boots, big three times boots. bigger than your foot. You, you got a moon boots on. I can you see you walking in. Like, yeah. Bro, he got hey, he got never. that walk on him. That shit is redacted as fuck. Boots. I cannot it's fuck with it. I don't even. I wouldn't even hire somebody. Would you hire somebody who's wearing some gigantic Rick Owens boots? I don't think I could do it. No, you're fired. You're fired before you get hired. I don't want nobody coming with a gang. I don't want any Columbine shooters hanging out of my office like, it's not no, happening this is the thing though but the only reason boots? that i don't wear that shit i got nerve damage but i'm not gonna wear those heavy ass boots the big ass shits no way but i got nerve damage in my right leg so i can't even really wear them leather sole ass shoes like mm. i don't even wear that shit you it's wouldn't wear no moon down. boots in the snow some of the, the, the moonies yeah in the snow probably <laughs> would you come in here wearing in the, the snow? would yeah, you come in here wearing in the, the big snow. red boots and just act like it was normal like don't even say anything I, about uh, it it's just a normal look like, for you we definitely I have I, no listen I definitely do it but it'll all be a try I can't wear that shit but it's you see no they got the yellow version get, now right you gotta you gotta get some big ass pants to go they got over the it. yellow ones. they got yellow ones with holes all over them yeah Pull them shit. you gonna get them you want some huh let me see. On what, what IG? We should do it. We Mitch, should. Oh, oh, the no jumper. We should one? get. We should get three pair and do a vlog outside, just belling through somewhere. Belling like, through yeah, something. Yeah, like, like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, look, look at little Dirk rocking them. Look at that shit. You think it looks cool? They're, they're Crocs. <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> Croc boots. <laughs> You look happy as fuck in them, too. I'm sorry. This shit is just... <laughs> like, I, I get, get it for the meme. Off. <laughs> yeah, that's all it's for. Like, if we put them on, that's what it's for. You might as well go ahead and vlog Meemaw, it. Meemaw, where do you get these photos from? They sent it in? No, not. I just sent it over to the vlog. Oh, okay. We got to be careful. I'm, I'm worried about these photos. They look a little too good. You know how I had an experience the other day where me and my girl went out to dinner? And then when we were leaving, we had fucking paparazzi waiting outside for us to ask us all kinds of questions and take all these photos of us. Yeah. And then the fucked up thing is that the main paparazzi was a pervert and knew the names of all the top male porn stars. And so he's like, are you going to shoot with Manuel Ferreira? Are you going to shoot with so-and-so? And I'm just like, bro, how the fuck is the paparazzi this knowledgeable he's probably, he's about probably porn? A porn? He probably follows hey, around porn viral, stars. A stalker. And what would have viral is you having on a pair of these coming out, fixing your pants and take off on them. Like, yeah, what? that's what I'm hey, saying. Uh, you got it. <laughs> what about like me man, just, what? just beating some cheeks with the yellow boots on? Bro, viral. You would tap in? No. Nah. You and but, Swifty Blue both are gonna tap in and watch no, that tape. I'm fucking not. Yeah, you will. I don't tap into any of it's your for festivities, the memes. bro. Yeah, I swear to God, I don't watch it. I still, I still haven't watched. The I don't watch any of that shit. You paint vivid pictures enough for us, bro. With we, my jizz. We, Every time like, I blow a nut on an ass shit, cheek, I'm like, like, look at this beautiful canvas I've just painted upon. You had a yellow boots on. No, but you always come and tell us how it is, like what was going on. Like, oh yeah, you know, just got done. You like ass? You should have seen this. I like that. I yeah, have a This girl almost killed thing. me with her ass and her vagina on my face the other day. I'm trying not to talk about porn on here or nothing, but <laughs> she could have killed me, Sharp. You going in. So we, you, you could have been no longer with us. Was it? Was it? Let me show you something. <laughs> Do not put this on, this on, the, on the screen. This motherfucker, bro. Hopefully I can spell her name right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Bro, there's no way she's going to be able to show how funky this ass is on here, though. This is the most absurd booty I ever seen in my fucking life, bro. You was eating it from the back. 
I was eating it from all kinds of positions. Uh, this is a real is. booty, too. Yeah, yeah, you can put this on the screen. Put it on the screen. Uh, oh! Day up. The Lord oh, is good to me. And so I thank the Lord. I ain't gonna lie. That's a real booty. Is it real because she got the... Did she, did she get her stomach and waist yeah, done? Yeah, she got a lipo. And the guy sucked it to it and she put it in nah, her Nah, but ass. she didn't put it in her booty. Oh, and I was wow. looking for the fucking the drill marks where they yeah. insert that shit in. Yeah. I didn't see none. Oh. Well, you was really watching. Right. You was is this what we it. should do on here is just check out hot chicks over and over and over. Is she? No. Is she? Is she Latino? Well, she, nah, she's Italian. 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 I knew she was some a stallion of sorts. This is so bad. My girl's gonna kill me for looking at this. Just kidding. You did it for the gang. I was just showing you guys. Gang, she was gang, a fan no too. Jumper crib. It's an impressive <laughs> ass. Yeah, he did it for sport. She like, almost killed on, me. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. Do you really feel like you was about to like you was really getting suffocated? She told me she had a guy full on pass out under her. And I was like, well, how did he not tap out? This is like the UFC, right? And she said that she was holding his arms so that he could not tap out. Well, and that, that's what these dudes like. They like the tight seal with the booty oh, and the vagina. So you really that. can't escape. Sock that bitch up. Wow. Hey, nigga. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. That, that dude shit. had no oh, strip. I was in 55th Street, street are you? I don't put my hands on chicks and feet, but like. If bitch, she I can't breathe. Like that I can't me, breathe. I, can't breathe, bro. I, can't breathe. Like, I asked her to smother me for the record. She covered while you talking. She about told me that this was a, re a requested ah. fetish. I said, "Do that shit to me. Sit on my face. Man, yeah, bro. Kill hey. me. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, see, them bitches be knowing which motherfuckers like that shit. That's hey, why, bro. She knew Adam was gonna like so that. I never thought about way. that shit before, but I was did on you, cloud nine did you in tap there. Out? <laughs> I couldn't tap out. She was she was holding my hand. Now, in reality, I probably could have you know thrown her off. Yeah. But I wasn't gonna do that. I was, I was saying, along for the did ride. You, did, did she did she spare you right before you passed out? Like, what was it? I could have seen myself dying. But in reality, she wasn't really like All right. you know, I think yeah. if she had been stabilizing her base, like if she was really in jujitsu class like that, she could have squeezed her thighs on my head, popped my fucking shit like a blood vessel. I'm dead. Mm. Rest in peace. We smoking on twenty two. That's the end of this podcast. <laughs> Fuck the ops. Shout out my Fuck boy Brick all. Baby. Shout out the Sharp One. Shout Me. out Remo. Shout out Donnie for running the boards. Don't be Fuck late. We Don't need a late. like. Smash the like and subscribe. All Don't I need is a like. Just one like. Comment to you bitches. Woo. We know you're gonna do it anyway. Turn we it out of this motherfucker.